Hang on, these things get recorded? Yeah. You got a problem with that? Yeah. No, has that always been the case? No, I started doing it no. a few months ago. Okay. Uh, a Can couple months swear? ago. But there's right, I'm just, there's nine there's 19 minutes missing from the last one. Yeah. <laughs> so in terms of uh, in terms of cussing and cursing, what's allowed? Go for it. All right. Um, I, I put it so it's not for for children. So, but we but have, these like go on YouTube or something. Yeah, but we I think the maximum we've ever had anybody look at these is like 12 people. <laughs> yeah, and it's usually me and Rob. It's probably it's probably us. <laughs> you know what it you know what I, I keep encouraging it for people to do is to if you're giving reading if you're doing a category it records where I am and since I go into your room that is the room you should probably spend the least amount of time in because you can look at the mm -hmm. video and it'll show the discussion that was happening in the room that I'm in and it's always kind of fun here I'll put up the link to our our YouTube site um, to the YouTube videos I've only done about five or six, but they're fun. And I think it's, um, I don't know. I just love hanging out with you guys. And this way I could turn it on later after, after, after we all leave you just listen to you guys talk in the background. It's kind of fun. Do, for, do pretend it's live and still yell at us, go to your rooms. You know, I'm kind of wondering <laughs> if I, 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 I'm waiting to catch myself doing that is like, <laughs> Hey, you guys knock it off. Susan, you're going to watch these when you're in, when you're like 85, you're going to be like, Oh, there's my friends. You know what? I won't remember you guys when I'm in. <laughs> and every time, or I won't remember it happening, and I'll just be able to go, "Ooh, what's this? Who, who are those people? Who, who are those weirdos that I used to be friends with?" All of them. You'll argue with your own questions. Oh, I answers. think it's fun. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, I'm the only really one like, still alive. I like, um, Really you like could retest up. yourself and see what score you get on the trivia, and probably <laughs> realize that's not a gargoyle. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the last video. I, I or what's okay, oh. I'll put up the yeah, you've got the story of the interview after it doesn't have the beginning of it, unfortunately. So it's on my it's on my Facebook page yeah. if you want to see it. it. It's only it shows it after, but that is the link to the whole show, and you can fast forward through the show to the second story. Will that give the whole show really? It's the whole show, yeah. Oh, interesting because I only watch it on YouTube TV, I have to record it that way. Uh I don't have access to that, I guess, because maybe it's okay. Account. Go to my Facebook page after tonight, or afterwards, tomorrow, and on my Facebook page, there's a live video of me, and I am speaking to you. And then I show, then I turn my camera on the video, and then I, you can see what I see. It's only like 12 minutes long. Sydney in lockdown, stay at home. No, I mean about the Rachel Meadow thing. Yeah, I know. You can see it on my Facebook page because I recorded it from my phone. Things the aren't looking really so quiet, good. Though. So are you in lockdown now, Richard? Um, not this particular spot in Sydney, but quite a lot of Sydney is in lockdown, yeah. Are they actually calling it lockdown now, or is it still that weird New South Wales version of lockdown? Um, it's depending on where you live. You, you, you cannot go to Oops. work in the city anymore. You have to stay at home. Sorry, I lost so, that. Sort of, sort of a lockdown. So it's like, yeah, it's, okay. it's, so your benefit, nobody else will understand this. It's a Clayton's lockdown. Clayton's lockdown. What does yeah, that mean? Monopoly jail. Oh, you, don't, you don't know. What that nobody means. knows what that means, Richard. <laughs> oh, dear. They used to, there's a drink, there's a drink in Australia called Clayton's. And the ad years ago in the, in the 80s, so I, so I forgive you for not knowing, was it's the, <laughs> drink, it's the drink you have when you're not having a drink because it's not alcoholic. So if we call uh, something. okay. A Clayton, oh, it's like a pretend, yeah. Right. Oh, hi, Faith. Faith got here. Hi, Faith. Karen, so, Rich, Richard, do you guys have the Delta variant there? Yep. Yeah. That's it. That's why we That's, things yeah, are turning bad right quickly. Yeah. yeah. That's half hey, the cases your here. Videos now. Off. I don't, and your audio and your. Um... Who's uh, doing oh. categories tonight, Susan? Okay, so who we have up is first is Karen. And then we have Carl. Carl, you knew you were coming up tonight, right? Yep. Kevin, you're third. Okay. Adrian, you're fourth. Woohoo! <laughs> Why can't we see you, Adrian? And Robin is bonus, and Robin says she'll be here later. Yay! I think that's what. Oh, I see. Right? right. Paula says she'll be here soon. Um, Adrian said she had a, she was doing a, attending a lecture about birds from Mr. Bird. Oh. 
I, hey, Susan, I was expecting to be up tonight. So did I get that wrong? Is it next week? You're next week. Okay. Yeah. Hey, look, I went I to the- I have Robin and Rob next week, so that's it. I went to the US can store and I bought out their entire stock of this. I have to wait till they get more in there. Ah. Wow, wow, wow. All right. What's the sweetener in that one? What do they use to um, sweeten it? A Spider Man. Oh, nah, that's my favorite. That's not good. That's the best one. That's bad excellent. stuff. It's the best that's one. That's the one they put in Diet that. Coke, isn't it? Yeah, yep. bad stuff. Yeah. It's not bad I like stuff. I have a friend who keeps telling me I get cancer from it. I said, give me the information. Into it. Yeah, there isn't a lot to it's it. The, it's freaking the safest thing that there is out there. Yeah, it's medicine. the most studied food group uh, ever. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, Carl, you're second. So let me. Is it for two? Carl's running two. Kevin, you're in group three. And remember to take into consideration, please, that I have to drop out early. Yeah, a couple people told me so. I'll probably be leaving at some point too. I'm not sure when. I heard it was Karen again. Come in. So Kevin needs Karen. Karen needs to be in the first group. Carl needs to be in the second group. Hey Kevin, did you see um? Did you see Route sixty six when you were in Chicago? Um, no, really, I saw it in Missouri. Because it is, I it starts and stops here. I found that yeah. out sitting in, sitting by the window in a restaurant right at the sign there. I, I for years I used to go to the restaurant, never looked at the sign. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it starts it starts and finishes right there. At, at we were aware Avenue. of it on our drive from Chicago to Missouri, and we stopped at uh, um, the world's largest bottle of ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the song has Americans all the stuff are so in it. freaking weird. Yep, and, we do that too. Answer, we have you know? the world's biggest lots of different things that seem they pointless. A, it is. It they had. It's like a, just uh, tourist traps. They yeah, had, um, yeah, we have that. The they had a fudge factory town of Uranus. And all they did was oh jokes about God. all the fudge people who work there are fudge packers who work in Uranus. It just was joke mm. after joke after joke. And when you buy something, when you leave, they say, thanks for picking Uranus. It was just so bad. <laughs> so, so I when just you found say out a friend of mine has a boat, a really big boat, and the boat's name is Titan Uranus. <laughs> So, I thought, so uh, when you say joke, I imagine there's a different concept of humor than I'm aware of. It's, it's, something it's funny. terrible. <laughs> but I guess the not. world's largest belt buckle. You know, who cares? <laughs> like like sports, there are different leagues. You know. Yeah. Is it large in surface area or in mass? Oh. It was belt about buckle. 13 feet tall and about 15 feet wide, and people stand in front of it. It's not a functioning belt buckle, obviously. <laughs> then, then it's not. Yeah, a, then it's not a belt buckle. It's actually. Large. I know. That's what, that's why it's so stupid. It's the largest, the most largest bottle of ketchup is a water tower. It's not even a ketchup bottle, so it's so stupid. I'm pretty I've sure the that world's it, largest yeah. sheep is not actually a sheep as well. That's in Golden, the big right, merino. Yeah, the big merino. We have a the big really merino. big pink buffalo at a car dealership near here i don't know if it's the world's biggest but it's pretty big it's looks like it's made out of paper mache but it's bigger than that so i'm guessing it's like fiberglass or something well they've got a water tank south of sydney that they painted yellow and said it's called it the big cheese <laughs> <laughs> uh, the world's biggest ketchup bottle in the background <laughs> um uh, can Susan, could you give me sharing for a minute, please? Yeah, everybody should be able to share. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't. Oh, there we go. Okay. You might find this interesting. Do you see it? This oh. is the water tower oh, at Michigan University. Uh, people, <laughs> they did not intend for it to look like it looks, I suspect. <laughs> Oh, it's a, it does get a lot of reactions. I bet it's well photographed. I'm, oh yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> very much so. I'm, I'm overcome with feelings of inadequacy. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? 
It's almost a Dalek. Yes. Oh, you could yeah. so paint it and add some stuff. That would be awesome. Yeah. Okay, so here you go. So if you want to enter your hair goes, I'm putting you in your guys' rooms. Everybody must play well, nice, friendly. You don't have to wear a mask if you're fully vaccinated, though. Unless the whole room is full of Trumpers, then I would anyway. <laughs> I'm putting you in the room with all the MAGA people. And I'm going to pause for a moment. Okay. So Kyle's hand is going to get tired from holding Yoshi so much, I said. Yoshi's going to help with the categories. Do I? I don't know why I do that. Kyle, Carl, they're four letters long. They're both good friends of mine. Just could, never. Susan, Susan Gerbic getting tongue tied. It never yeah, happened. Yeah, I don't know. I can't imagine that happening. That's just <laughs> that's like crazy talk, I guess. Anyway, Yoshi's gonna maybe maybe one of the categories is gonna be about cats or birds or parrots or songs or songs birds sing crackers. Maybe it'll be about crackers. She does love crackers. I'm sure she'll be able to answer all. The, he'll be able to answer all the questions on crackers tonight. I just saw Caspian and, and uh, Jamie show up, but I don't see them. They're here. Hi, Robin. Isabella's coming back. I guess she's having problems with her iPad. Oh, Adrian, really? Caspian's not here. Um, I have a category um, uh, question hopping around rooms and closing mm -hmm. them and so forth. Um, how do you recommend assessing when to do that? So what I do used to do when I'd go from room to room is I just kind of get a gauge of how far people are. You know, if it looks like they're just discussing the same old questions over and over and they're not getting anywhere. And you can kind of see you just kind of get a feel for it. And then um, if I'm in charge of closing the rooms, then whatever room I'm in, it closes after we've kind of figured it out. <laughs> but I can also see if people are starting to come back. So if you want to leave it to me, I'll, I'll close the rooms for you. Or if you want to close the rooms, you can, you can say, just pop into the room that I'm in, which will be the first room. And you'll say, Susan, I think everybody's kind of, you know, done. They're, they're, they've got like two more to go and they're not even close or whatever. It's up to you guys. And then I should return to my home room for the zap back. Yeah, that might be okay. good before we hit close rooms or I can just put you in there later. It's not that big a deal. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Caspian. Jamie's here. We haven't seen Jamie. Yay, Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. She's oh, been Adrian, Adrian is with Richard and Richard's dad. Wow. <laughs> no, that's Richard and... I don't know, some scary That's Richard thing. from the Mirror Universe. <laughs> That's evil Richard. It, it, it's the goatee. The mustache and the hair. He just looks like a Bigfoot or something. I don't, I don't so, know. So the smile like is really an evil smile. I'm not really into that fuzzy look. But. I like the style of uh, The Good Place where you have Janet and you have bad Janet. <laughs> now that makes sense. Oh, okay. we actually met somebody at a dance. She was sitting with us, and I so want her name was Janet. I so wanted to ask her, Are you the good Janet? Oh, that Janet? must be awful. I gotta let my cat out. You went out, honey? The door is open right here. You need to go, you go outside. Okay, so we're getting started. We're recording for the fictional TV show that we're never, that, that might happen someday. People go, Wow, man, those people were crazy. What a what a sitcom. Every week, people will be tuned into new Netflix to watch us. <laughs> Every Thursday night, it'll be live on Netflix, and it'll be live. That'd be even better. No edited. Four hours. So it's going to be real. Susan, Netflix isn't going to, we, we need more drama than that. <laughs> I think we're hilarious. No, but we, we, we tune in. There's 30 of us. Uh, okay, but you'd need more you need more drama you mean like as an anti-vaxxer and a conspiracy theorist? as someone who's an avid housewives fan you need like someone who's like i don't know stepping on your lawn and like 
heels and you need to have like a meltdown about like your chef not like cooking your food right or something like well, really, stepping really on your, your, the lawn and heels is actually good that would aerate it yeah, I know, mm-hmm. but then it's like, but if it's yeah. like special grass, like no, letting your dog crap grass. on the lawn and not picking it up. Hamilton's here, by the way. Yeah, we that. could all bring our chickens. I think they should, yeah, add, or like, should add a cousin Oliver. Like for example, <laughs> like, let's say, Susan, like let's say like Jeannie's chicken like poops on your lawn and then you like follow restraining order again. So that's that's the kind of drama we need. Janine, will you bring <laughs> a chicken here? I'll bring a chicken. <laughs> so you can file a restraining order against her. <laughs> Sounds like collusion to me. I don't know. We're recording this. See, now we've given away the plot for season two. So I don't know. We'd have to come up with something else. Hey, okay. So before we start, I need to know the answer to this. And I don't think it's Carl. 42. Who used to drive the Wiener Mobile in their childhood? Teenage years. Uh-huh. So that was something I looked into doing once, but I didn't go oh. through on it. No, there was somebody who said they did. Uh, don't uh, answer. Just trying to hack uh, your account. Jeffrey Maybe Turner. it was Kyle. You know, now that I think about it, I think it was Kyle that said they were hooked into it. Yeah, we applied in everything, but we didn't get it. it was, uh, oh, I think darn. that was it. That was, it you was were in a group with Susan and I, and you mentioned that you that's what it was. Now I remember Susan. Yeah, they were rolled well, up at a 7 Eleven. I met the team and found all about it. We applied, but we didn't get it. It's in the sand when your life's aspirations just go downhill like that. Mm. Your you get the too high, is it Kyle. still on your bucket list, Kyle? I don't know. May, you know, that might be a career opportunity. <laughs> it took a you know, you know, you take the wife, take the bird. But you know, they're going to have to make an electric version. So that's going to complicate things. Kevin is giving us the bird, I think. That's Trump Tower. I took a selfie with the Trump Tower. Oh, <laughs> we can't really tell. It's so far away. It's so close up. I just thought you're giving us a bird. I thought you were just jealous because everybody else has had birds. Everybody's got a bird. Give Trump a bird. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Let's do our category. So our names of groups today. Today, today. This is game. Game number 59. Cinquenta Nueve. That's a lot. That's all. That's that's a lot. We're getting up there. So we're on season two, episode two, uh, season two, <laughs> episode two, or three, something like that. I can't quite remember. And I want you to think in your little brains, in your big brains, in your medium-sized brains, if you want to do a category next week, because I've got two people already, but that's it. And um, okay, so here we go. Kevin, Isabella, Ben, Michelle Franklin, and Jane, where are what is your title of your group tonight? What team are you going to be on tonight? And make sure everything gets in the chat, you guys, because you know I can't spell. Stop. Isabella, you're on. Oh, I can't uh, remember what it is. I sent it to you in the chat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Sorry, Karen. She's on um, it. Somebody I'm, fire her. Oh, wait, I don't have it. Are you just trying to make drama, Isabella? That's what you're doing? Yeah, Karen. Hey, good geez. job. Good job. <laughs> yeah, Karen. What's wrong with that, Isabella? Ben, ben, no, and, Jane, ben and Jane okay. also have it. Oh, okay. Sorry. Maxed to the max and on track to relax. <laughs> That's very good. We'll put it in the chat, please, for a second. Just copy and paste it. Um, maxed to the max. Whatever and you want to do. On track to relax. That's what Jane just did this weekend. Where'd you go, Jane? San Diego. Okay. That is definitely a relaxing Okay. Place. Is Kevin talking to us? Yeah. He's on the idea. phone. Kevin, drop the phone. You, Kevin. Isn't it like nine o'clock at night? Not no. I six. Ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten. That's kind of late. I think it's 10 for him, yeah. Are you getting a phone call? 10 o'clock's like 9 o'clock, sort of. <laughs> Richard and Adrian, look at the play. It's posing like Adrian. <laughs> All right. Carl, Kelly, Mike, Peggy, and Saunders, who are you guys tonight? In, in honor of the fact that each of us has as much right to practice law in the state of New York as Ru- Ru- Rudy Giuliani does <laughs> now, we are Rudy's lost law license legacy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Peggy and Peggy and Robin can practice law, maybe not in um, 
in New York, but I didn't hear that he had lost his license finally. That's yep. cool. They said suspended. Hey, you, I don't know if suspended. I think I think he's got a chance to appeal. Yeah. Oh, did God. that just happen? When yeah. did it get suspended? I heard they were Today. trying to disarm nice. him. Well, given how well he's done with appeals lately. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got better things. And another loss tried. to his record. He has, six, he has 60 tries. 60 tries. 60 tries. So this is this is just another learning opportunity. This is how we catch up on the news. Um, and our next group is going to be Kevin, Avi, Bob, Gail, and Jeff. What are you guys tonight? We didn't take our meds. <laughs> Let me do a little loose. We didn't take our meds. Is that relevant to something I should know about? No, no Susan. Me. It's relevant to me. That's why I'm not going to stay for the whole time. Oh, unfortunately. You sick? Might be relevant to no. Britney Spears. Uh, so, oh. uh, my local pharmacy got bought out by Rite Aid. And, like, I'm not at all, like, I don't have any feelings about that specifically, but they were forced to switch to their computer systems. And when they did that, they, uh, any future dated prescriptions were all, like, removed from the system okay. on accident. And so I basically had, like, I was supposed to pick up a prescription yesterday and that hasn't happened. And my doctor still has, is in the process of getting it refilled, but it's being more of a hassle than it needs to be. So like, I, I couldn't work today. So Isabella, is that enough drama for you? Do you think Netflix would cover it if Jeff's about Jeff's drama? I mean, we'll maybe we'll if he like went over to the pharmacy and like screamed and made the, uh, the pharmacist cry and then threatened to sue them. That might work. If he the wore high heels with nice. a and he was carrying a yeah, chicken. Uh, if he yeah, had my a pharmacist chicken. is so nice. Like I would feel so bad doing that. If he, that. If he like broke down crying in front of them or like, I don't know, talked about, I don't know. We're never going to make, we're never going to make Netflix if we don't work. step up, Jeff. <laughs> we need a <laughs> little more drama chicken than that. You. I'm sorry. She was so proactively apologetic about uh, the whole thing. Like she would, she knew exactly what the problem was the moment I, I was like, See, that's, oh yeah, that's that's really nice. Yeah, well, yeah she was she was it. very understanding, and she was like, I'm gonna call your doctor twice today just to try to get this sorted out. If you want to ping them too, that'll probably help. And yeah, it's still but it, it didn't still help. Hasn't, it hasn't mom. helped yet. I think it's partly because I think my doctor actually uh take like doesn't work on Thursdays, so. Oh. Like, but he should be back in the office tomorrow. So okay. hopefully, well, maybe we'll hopefully I'll get it all sorted. Yeah. So Adrian, Alan, Kyle, Mono, and Rob, who are you tonight? So this is an honor of another current news story, which we didn't talk about tonight. Um, there's a book that's pre-released. Uh, so official date is August 10th by Michael Bender, senior White House reporter for the Wall Street Journal. It's uh, already Ooh. being pre-sold. And the title is, frankly, we did win this election, the inside story of how Trump lost. So our, so our name is... Frankly, we did win this game, right, Yoshi? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, that is cute. Okay, got that. All right, good job. It's a little long for the for the chat thing, but I will put it in there. Okay, and last but not least, we have okay, Faith, Romero, James, Janine, Wilma, and Robin. Who are you guys tonight? We are Blue Origin to Uranus with Bezos' Prime Package. <laughs> I can put it in. That's awesome. There. Blue Origin to Uranus with Bezos Prime Package. There you go. Okay. I like oh, okay. that. That is timely too. I like I like these ones when they're timely. We uh, it's a on. little little bit excessive because I think it's only a suborbital flight, but okay. <laughs> oh, well, at least Leonard isn't here to Long tell anywhere. us the details. All right. Here we go. Ooh. We are ready to start. And I'm going to put this link to this video that I found that I didn't find, but I mean, I just found that I could give it to you. I don't know if Mono can open it or not because it's Facebook, but he can try. But here it is, the video that I did. It's on my Facebook page. You can look at it later. Nobody has time to look at it now. All right, so we are playing. Here we go. We have five teams, five teams. Let's see who's going to be the winner tonight. Oh, oh mine started, it started playing. And I'm like, that's me. <laughs> Why are you talking, Susan? I'm like, who's talking? All right. Backs to the mask. Wait. Backs to the max and on track to relax versus 
Rudy's lost law license, law, Rudy's lost <laughs> law license legacy versus we didn't take our meds versus frankly, we did win this game, right, Yoshi? Versus Blue Origin to Uranus with Bezos Prime Package. Oh, you guys are something else, I tell you. Who, who of all these groups will be the winner tonight? This is, this is drama, excitement. People are hanging on to our every word. It's, it's, it's I mean, as soon as they find these YouTube videos, they're going to be like, Oh, the viral this, for sure. This for is sure. going to be, oh my gosh. We I, need to get I can't believe on that. I've got to show up every Thursday night to watch these because this is this is great stuff. So Karen, I'm making Snooki on here so someone can smack her. <laughs> so Karen, I just made you a co-host. Is it the right account you wanted to be made a co-host of? You're muted. You're still muted. This one, I can you, I can see the little icon, but I appreciate and I appreciate the prompt. Um, so uh, this is the one right here uh, that would be host. Okay, so that's the one I just gave the permission to. Great. So the other one is a Chromebook, and I've learned that the Chromebook is not so good for um, for Zoom for streaming. Okay. okay, Paula's joining us right now. She, let her let her uh, load, and then we can start because I was while we're waiting. One. While we're waiting for Paula, I wanted to get a thumbs up on the audio. Robin kindly pointed out to me last week that actually for a while, my audio has been cutting in and out and no one mentioned it. So I have an exterior microphone. So can I have a thumbs up if the audio is clear? Excellent. Great. Thank you very much. So here we go. The cat and I'm, I'm looking at a, a Chromebook over here. The category is shoe kitty shoe, AKA coprology. AKA scat. All right, <laughs> muting everybody in three, two, one. Karen, don't forget to unmute. Oh my goodness. Yes, got it. <laughs> so you'll see that in the category there. Okay. Oh so, Lord. Uh, <laughs> in medicine and biology, uh, scatology or caprology is the study of animal droppings. And per Wikipedia, per Wikipedia, scatological studies allow one to determine a wide range of biological information about a creature, including its diet, health, and diseases. So if you enjoy hiking, I encourage you to add awareness of scat uh, or caprology, as uh, the terms are used in science, to enhance your time in the great outdoors this summer. It can be quite interesting. So do not poo poo this notion. All right, so this is going to be, and there's a typo in the- uh, I can see Peggy's already like this. <laughs> so do not, so there's a typo in the chat about that. Okay, so this is gonna be um, easy. <laughs> Rob, she's that easy. <laughs> but will it be figure outable? Yes, this is going to be simple because I'm going Everybody to Everybody knows our poo. I'm going to ask that you please match the following 10 descriptions of animal scat to the critters from whence they typically emerge according to uh, BBC Wildlife. So you're gonna have a list of animals and you're gonna have a, a list of descriptions. So I'm gonna give you the list of the critters first. So as I read the descriptions, you can kind of put down your first um, notion about them. So here is the list of critters. Critters. Okay, here are the 10 animals. Okay, now I just noticed that the numbers do not come up. So I'm going to number them real quick. And they are one deer, two Canada geese, three woodpeckers, four foxes, five rats, six rabbits, seven badgers, uh, eight otters, nine martens, and 10 hedgehogs. And there it is. Um, so they're kind of pushed together. So we're going to put a space between them and try that again. Anyway, so as you, um, Hear these descriptions 
And I heard you before that you would rather have the descriptions second and the number the uh, numbered items first. So I did that this time. Okay, let's see if putting a space between them helps display them if I cut and paste. So here we go. Okay, well, it still didn't work, but there we go. So apparently in um, when you cut and paste into chat, it doesn't keep the formatting. Thank you oh, very much. Rob Rob Thanks. Yay. Okay. So I will cut, and, I'm going to cut and paste all of these and I'll do them one at a time. And they have little dividers. So here are the, here are the descriptions. A, the size is less than one centimeter, very small, about pea size, and usually black, light brown, or green in color. The scat is filled with plant and grass pieces. That's A. Deborah just showed up. She's probably going, what the hell? <laughs> Paula. <laughs> Let them figure it out. <laughs> I know the drill. OK, B. B is normally sloppy and wet. However, the texture of the droppings depends on the diet, which can include worms, berries, and carrion. This critter defecates in holes at the edge of its territory, and the matter has a sweet, musky smell. If you want to get that close to, to sniff it. Okay. Well, you did say this is entertaining for us to do this summer. There you go. Add to your hiking joy. OK, C, the size is three to five centimeters short, thin, cylindrical, and looks like cigarette ash. It is dark with a coat of white uric acid and contains ant ectoskeletons. That is C. Okay. D, the size is one to 4.1 1 to 1 1.4 centimeters. Why they say that, I don't know. One to 1.4 centimeters, relatively small, usually a shiny brown. These animals ruminate, so their droppings don't normally have any obvious contents in them. Their food is finely digested. That is D. Okay, the next one, E. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, more of D is the droppings are oval shaped because you're going to really need this. The droppings are oval shaped with one end pointed and the other end indented or flat. They are usually in clusters and may be found along paths and in fields and woodlands. You are going to need that information. <laughs> I'm telling you, I see Netflix written all over this. Okay. So the next one is E. Now E, the size is 1.7 to two centimeters, <laughs> large and oval shaped like olive pits. Question. Yeah. So part D was two paragraphs? That's correct. Okay. E is sized one point, and, and there is one that does, uh, if you'll notice, B does not have a size to it, but all the rest do. E size 1.7 to two centimeters. Um, did I read that already? The large oval shape? <clears throat> Yeah, that's the end of D. Oh, large oval shaped with one point. With one end pointed oh, and the other. Talk about the olive pits. Okay, E is um, large olive, large and oval shaped like olive pits. And uh, when fresh, the bits are dark in color, rough in texture, and tapering to a point at one or both ends. They're often deposited in, scat in a scattered group. Okay, that is E. There we go. F, um, size is 5 to 20 centimeters. These are all clues for you. Uh, size, uh, the, uh, the group that's on way to Uranus, however that is pronounced, may have an advantage in this one. Size five to 20 centimeters, usually long and twisted. And if you look closely, you might be able to spot the remains of what it's been eating, such as berries, bone, hair, and grasses. These droppings are often left to mark territory on dead animals. 
If you look closely, will you see a face of Jesus or anything? Oh, perhaps. Okay, just checking. Okay. I know he's appearing on cheese sandwiches, so, you know. <laughs> so uh, G is sized eight centimeters, thick, cylindrical, and coiled with an outer layer of white uric acid. It is mainly made up of digested grass, usually found in grass and on paths near rivers and ponds. Okay. Um, H is 1.5 to 5 centimeters. This is sausage-like in its shape, <laughs> uh, like, like that of uh, any small carnivore, like a small carnivore would have. It is usually shiny, tapered at one end, and black in color. These droppings contain many bits of berries and shiny fragments from insect body parts. That is H. Okay, almost done here. I, I is three to 10 centimeters and it is known as Sprint, S-P-R-A-I-N-T. These are normally coarse and black, full of fish scales, shell fragments, and sometimes feathers or fur. As it dries out, it becomes pale and crumbly. Squint has, a, Sprint rather, has a unique aroma, very musky and fish, fishy with a trace of what is surprisingly uh, similar to jasmine tea. Look for it in prominent spots along a stream, lake, or river, particularly on grass mounds or rocks. Okay. It tastes, like chicken. it tastes like chicken. I am not trying it. You can let us know. And the final, the final selection is J. The size is four to 12 centimeters long. Long, thin, coiled, and tapered in shape, and full of fur, bone, feathers, pieces of leaves, and grass. When defecating, these critters wriggle their hips, resulting in a twisted poo. In summer, the scat can actually become blue in color as berries consumed may make up to 30% of their diet during that season. Similar to, to Sprint, there is a distinctive smell, though it lacks the fishy smell of Sprint. It's very musky, sweet, and fruity, and does not smell unpleasant. It is sometimes compared to damp hay or violets. You may find it atop a log or a boulder. They only do it in high places. Okay. There you go. Any questions? <laughs> like, where did you come up with this category? I mean, I think this is I, a shit I have category. A question. And I think it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Can we eliminate this category? <laughs> <laughs> Well, this once we've done it, we've done it. So, oh, I get it. Eliminate. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, it took me a second. Sorry, I'm slow today. I feel like we should pass this category. Good. You should say what? Pass this category. Pass no, it. you can sell it to Netflix as the shit show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I think everybody understands what we're supposed to do. It's just match these up to the other 10 critters she told us about. All right, I think we got it. I'll add Deborah mm. and Paula to their rooms in just a second. And as you are tracking your answers, I will say one is, and then say the letter. Okay. Oh, and Caspian and Jamie, I need to put them in a place. Isabella, uh -huh. you're already in room one and I will be over to room one too. So um, let's put you so I'll be able to hop around rooms, is that right? Uh, you should be able to. I assume so. Let me know if you can't. Thank you. Okay. Have fun. I'll try. Four. <laughs> Let's put her into room. All right. One, two, three, four. One. Who's going to be leaving first? I'll put you into that room. Okay, so everybody's assigned somewhere. Paula. Paula. Dover, so I can oh. give everyone my undivided attention. My apologies. Undivided, how cool. Okay, I believe that number C goes to Canadian uh, Canada geese. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. A goes with uh, rabbits, six. So geese eat ants? I'd like to offer a reminder, the answers will be given one and then the letter, if that helps you track your answers. Right. What's, um, what's your, what, what type of animal is number nine? <sighs> they're in the weasel family. Martin, uh, yeah, they're like little, yeah. Little, okay. Let me know if you things. need help. I'm going to just be that, like playing solitaire or something. Yeah. That one with the weird name, the, the name that starts with S, I reckon has to be otters, just because it sounds like otter shit. Yeah. <laughs> Which one are we talking about? Which uh, did you say thought, F? Yeah, I, don't I can't know what otter look poop them, looks but like. There was one that had a special word to describe it. And it um, also reeks of fish, which would be otters more yeah, than Yeah, that has to be otters. Plus, I have um, I used to work with otters in a zoo, and okay. it sounded like what they saw, what they were. Which words. one was Gross. Uh, That's what search is for, right? So I, full of fish scales. Yeah. That would be it. Known as Spraint. Spraint. Because you That's said it. the one that had the weird name, right? And that yeah, is I, that and we said that one is which one again? I'm sorry. Otters. 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 Got it. Eight. Thank you. Now, the one that is in clusters, I'm thinking like that's deer. Yes. yes. Yeah. Look like I've never I'll... seen deer that's poo, deer but I assume it would be similar to sheep, which is in clusters. Yes. So E, deer, E. E, large yep. and oval shape like olive pits. Yes, uh, Isabella was playing in a scattered group. Recently in the now, the one think... that had ants no. in it, sure, or was there something that eight specifically eight said clusters, Music. though? The back of yeah. that was that, like, D somebody, is clusters. Guess, D somebody is clusters. was, like, raising the Small, deer. Small, shiny oh. brown. Yeah. Ruminate. Mm -hmm. Um... Droppings are oval shaped. I've never myself. seen deer droppings, but I'm picturing them like sheep droppings. So has anyone seen they it? They kind of like they all go together. Yeah. Or yeah, do they like stick does. to each other? <laughs> or do they come out separate? Does that one? They're almost the size of an almond. I'm also pretty sure that deer are the only ruminants on this list. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So we're thinking deer is D. No. Yeah. Or no. I think yes. so. Yeah. E. Yeah. E as in dog. Yes. Unless, Someone say no. no. E as in L. Uh, deer E. Yeah, D should be D, I reckon. D? No, I, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, I think they're like um okay. olive pits. Yeah. See o olive when they have that like tapered end, yeah. usually that's carnivores. Herbivores are more kind of they are rounder. Oh, okay. I don't know. I could be completely well, wrong. Well, in a but... scattered group, didn't we say that deer typically they're like individual, but they're clumped together, right? They're not scattered. I don't know. Olive pits when fresh, dark in color, rough in texture, tapering to a point on one or both ends, often deposit in scattered groups. Now, if there's crocodiles mm. in here, we would know. Yeah, see, I'm th I mean, I don't know what badgers eat, and I don't know what, but badgers are carnivores, aren't they? I feel like they're carnivores that will eat anything they can get their hands on, but judging by those teeth, this is a carnivore. Yeah. There's also um, the really small ones that are tapered at one end, which that's D, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Then can you remove the uh, fine Rats do that. Thing? Rats have a uh, taper at one end. Rats are tapered at one end? Yeah, yeah. Because this one is, one of them was tapered at both ends. One end pointed and the yeah. other end indented or flat. See, that could be rats too. Hang on, how big are they? One to one. Well, that's one four. to no, one point four. That's too that's big, That's too big right? for rats, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking E could be rats. Hang on, 1.7 to 2. No, that's way that's too big. Also. Yeah. What's the smallest one we have here? A? We've already got A for bunnies. Yeah, they, they uh, poop a little pea size poop. Yeah, right? I reckon that could be a trick, though. It says pea size, not pea shape. 
Um, yeah, but aren't they like teeny tiny? My daughter has bunnies, and that's what they poop little round. But it doesn't say round. It says pea size. Well, it could be a trick. Filled, filled with, with plant, plant and grass, and grass yeah. pieces. Yeah, they have yeah. like a bunny though. That sounds like a probably bunny. A's yeah. bunny. Raw and lettuce, mm. carrots. All right, sloppy and wet texture Which droppings one could depend be a on diet, including worms, well, berries. Okay. If it keeps it reckon... holes at the edge of its territory and manner has a sweet musky. Musky smell. I reckon that's geese. Yeah, it could be. Because yeah. my other thought was rats are pretty much the lead, whatever, right? They're scavengers, so yeah, then their their droppings sloppy. would depend upon their diet. But they're never sloppy. They're always dry. That's so, true. Not to interrupt, but I don't think number two is C. You don't? I think it's the one further down that also mentions uric acid because I think C is woodpeckers. Yeah, okay. They're going to hit I've ants. never seen a woodpecker, so... Who's more likely That's to just eat going ant? off of the geese that I see in Monterey. Right. But there's another answer further down that also mentions oh, okay. uric acid. Yeah, then I'd go I'm going to have to but disappear I'm... for a minute, but I will be back. Okay. Then I'd go with that. That was actually partially Caspian's catch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice yeah. job. So G is thick, cylindrical, and coiled with an outer layer. But is, is there stuff coiled, though? I don't know, but I think that's geese has river ponds and there's only two entries here with uric acid and i feel really sure that c is woodpeckers okay and then we're thinking g, g is geese, g for, is geese. Uh, okay i could be wrong but i can't see anybody else on this list eating ants and then we said c was woodpeckers. Um, woodpecker got it hamilton what do you think ham Okay. Hamilton doesn't you know, have an opinion. Look at, look at Hamilton. You've got to be able to know these. Hamilton he doesn't, doesn't have an opinion. The, these descriptions are too long. It's hard to get it all on the screen at the same time. Yeah. We have I. Uh, Martins. What's a Martin? Yeah, what it's did we say a Martin beaver. was? <clears throat> it's a beaver? A we weasel. Not weasel. Oh. Maybe that's I, I, I can't. I've never heard of a Martin. I've so never the, heard of a Susan. So, uh, ha, ha. so a rat would have to be the smallest bird. thing on this side here that we have left, right? A Martin is a bird, and it might be like a, an owl with... I'm highlighting the ones we've used already just so that we know we've used them. Okay. But I don't want to delete them, you know, so that we can refer back. Um, so the smallest one, All right, D, G, how about A G. for, for rats? No, no, that wouldn't make sense, huh? We have A for rabbit so far, rats right? Rats don't eat anything that uniform. Yeah, that's true. I was trying to think of something small, like H. Hey guys, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna bail on you. Um, good luck. Oh, thank you. I hope you, you win. Okay. Thank and you. yeah. Bye, Michelle. Have fun. Bye. Bye. So do you think H? Damp A. No. You may find it atop a log or a boulder. That doesn't make sense. What would that? Is that a hedgehog, maybe? Though it lacks the fishy smell of spring. Sprint, we said, was what? It, that was otter. So something badger. similar to otter. And so we think maybe badger for that one. That one makes sense. Right? Wait, yeah. what was the primary food of the one you're looking at? Let's see, this J. Feathers, Fur, leaves. bone, feathers, pieces of leaves and grass. It's possible. I mean, they is that something that badgers would eat? Resulting in twisted poo. <laughs> sure, badgers eat a lot of things. And they rig do badgers wriggle their hips? <laughs> Anyone <laughs> watch badgers long enough? More information, I think. Uh, I read. know. I don't. I don't know how I feel about this category. <laughs> <laughs> this is knowledge you're gonna you're gonna say. Somebody's gonna say something about badger badgers, and you're gonna go. Did you know that they wiggle their hips when they go poop, and it makes the circles? <laughs> oh. 
That's great, <laughs> Susan. That's what I need to know right now. What else? Now. What do we got that's a large? Poop like a frosting machine. like you will ace this category in college. F I'm never going to take a category on this. No, F is a they very talk, big range. Zoology, you're going to say, I got the scat. I can have. I'm the taking scat. Susan. I'm taking scuba diving instead. Well, if you have to take a, a category on tracking animals <laughs> in the wilderness for your Girl Scouts, this is for your Girl Scouts. What did See, we say? I'm done with Girl Scouts. I know you can say, let's go look at animal poop. And you say, okay, see how Susan. this one's got a circle? <laughs> so okay, which animal Susan. on this list do you guys think is the most territorial? Boxes? Boxes? Boxes or badgers? Well, I, I think the rats are going to have to be tiny. So whatever the smallest size is left, it's got to be rats. Oh, uh, why would a rat have to be tiny? Have you seen a rat? tiny. Oh, they're not. Not always. Hamilton, have you seen a rat? Well, and this is Susan, you should go and talk to um F is very, very is wide range. Robin, Robin's is having a hard time with rats. Yeah. So Five no. to twenty. Yeah, Robin's That's probably a pretty big range. Rat That's one. why I think that might be rats because rats are gonna put get Robin on our big. team. <laughs> I didn't know this would be here. But would rats have berries, bone, hair, and grasses? Rats will eat whatever the hell they can get their hands on. Yep. Yeah, Jamie has a good point. These droppings are often left to mark territory on dead animals. That's what I'm not sure about. That feels do like rats a, do that. That feels like something maybe uh, a hedgehog would do. No, no, hedgehogs are sweet. <laughs> I, okay, I really want a hedgehog. I'm gonna move to uh, Oregon exclusively to have a hedgehog. Oh, okay. I'll let Janine oh. know. You should come visit her. I'm planning on driving a driving next week. You can come with me. Can you get me a hedgehog? You, if you come with me. Scatter group, is that, does that potentially sound like a rat? I don't know. I mean, it's 1.7 to 2 centimeters. I think that E sounds more like a rat. <clears throat> Not that I've looked at rat poop lately, but. I wish you really should have. Like a, like a, a, I think a the scatter group to me kind of. Oh, that makes me think of rats. Anyway, I don't know what do you guys think. So. I think he makes sense for rats because it doesn't. Nothing else makes sense. Um, do you think so, Hamilton? Do you think of rat poop? I think Hamilton loves rat poop. Do you like that? <laughs> Usually long and twisted. All right, who's gonna have sloppy and wet? <laughs> Thank you, Karen. This has been such a fun category. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm glad we're recording. Oh God! Hedgehogs. Oh. Floppy and wet. Carrion. Yeah. So we're left with martins, hedgehogs, and foxes. Foxes, I'd say, yeah. would be. Is you think big foxes big be floppy and wet, Caspian? Yeah, yes. I don't have any other options, and I'd go with that. Did Fox you say B skates. for foxes? Correct. Skates. I don't know what they're, if they smell musky or not, but it does sound like it'd be territorial, right? Yeah, but that could be a badger, too. But also, fox, carrying. A dog. Wouldn't a fox have sausage shape? That's what I was thinking. Don't carnivores usually have better digestion wait i don't know <laughs> i would think it would be h for foxes karen how's everybody else doing are they almost done yeah i was going to uh give it one minute but i can't figure Is out just that's the people back exactly. oh, i'll take care of it it looks like everybody's there's two groups already back so yeah we're hey, all done all right I we think... need to come up with some answers I, I don't know that a fox would bother with many insects. Would a I fox put the so. droppings on dead animals? I've never seen a fox. I well, have you ever seen a dead animal? animal? Yeah, I, I saw a dead animal today. Did Actually. it have poop on it? <laughs> no, it was. Uh, I saw like a. It was like a mutilated skunk. 
Yeah, I'm I'm agreeing with the. Uh, I would think B. Barry, you think it, we think that's Fox? That's kind of this point. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they. Yeah, I don't think they would be doing insects. But I'm know, wondering, that. out of the what's left on the list, if a Martin is a bird, are they the ones most likely to be eating insects? Well, they're less likely to be leaving a mark on dead animals. Right. So I think that H would be the would be for the Martins because yeah. just, that's what's left over. Yeah, I could go with that. So that makes hedgehogs F. Um so hedgehogs poop on dead animals. Mm -hmm. Those jerks. I don't think so, but I have no idea. But what else would it be, Jamie? Uh, I don't know. We might got something, but I just don't think I, hedgehogs are territorial. Right. Well, should we do we have hedgehogs confused with uh foxes? I know hedgehogs eat like bugs and stuff. What do we have for foxes is B, huh? Well, so could B. No, bees so also maybe H is where the hedgehogs belong. Susan, you know they eat bugs. I need yes, your sir? help to bring everybody back. Yeah, okay, I'll do it right now. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you so much. So if someone knows that hedgehogs eat bugs, we should change that to the ones that have insect body parts. Well, I know they eat, they don't eat like, they eat like plants and bugs and stuff. So. Well, berries and insect fragments, so that's good enough for me. Okay. okay. So you want to change? I'm okay with that too. So hedgehogs go to H, H. but are we just swapping those two? Martin's and Martin's big. become F. Or you know, I'm. Oh. No, I think we had something else. No. But you got 20 seconds to figure it out quick. Then just switch it out for. I did. Okay, good luck, uh, I feel like no matter how much we look at this, we're going to end up getting a bunch wrong. <laughs> good luck. I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> was, uh, that was really okay, interesting, Karen. Up. Thank you for, for making sure it was the first category of the trivia. It should have been number two, though. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been more fitting. Yeah. <laughs> you win. You win the night. <laughs> How was that for you? Actually, it was pretty shitty. interesting. Pretty I, shitty. I, I like this category. It was I think we got a lot of tens. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. A lot wow. of twos. No, no nines. I guarantee you, no one got a nine. Yeah, you're right. Nobody will because it's niche. well, it's possible. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not. No. I can't get a nine. Unless somebody you were assuming nobody put no. the same answer on multiple right. ones because they were Oh, that's sure. true. Yeah. Yeah, okay. if you really weren't sure, possible. you could do that. And you're guaranteed to get uh, one point. Mm -hmm. Well, not guaranteed. Zero or one. No, no. If, you, if no. you put A for everything, you're guaranteed yeah. a point. Yeah. Yeah. The answer is yeah. the same thing for all of them. Yeah. Stop. All right, Karen. This is, yeah, well, we're, the, the really nice thing about this is we're all going to be conversant. And when we, you know, the uh, somebody's talking about otters or you know, woodpeckers or whatever are going to be able to describe what their poop looks like and or Susan, you wild. Have, you all like remember every little category you've had. You've had I, like I, think we'll be, I think it'll be very interesting. And I guarantee the next time you, you go hiking and the next time you go hiking and see some scat, it will catch your attention and you may check it out. You say, is that a hedgehog? No, that's an otter. There aren't I hedgehogs always in look California. at scat. I always look at it. You, yeah. didn't, you, you should probably include bring include the a one that's ruler. square. You so, know the joke so, about the bass cat, right? So when you guys are out walking, make sure you take a picture and share it with us next time. I was disappointed, Karen, that there were no dogs included. That's the one I know so well. <laughs> there was no chicken. There was no Whoever chicken has the either. power to mute, if you could kindly mute, and we will go. I wanted on. to hear how Yoshi did. Oh, the Three, answers. Two, one. Everyone's muted. Karen, you'll have to unmute. Yeah. Okay. So the answer to one is... For is the deer is D. And I'll put all the answers in at the end. One is D, deer. For two, Canada geese, the answer is G. 
for three woodpeckers, the answer is C. For four foxes is F. For five rats is E. For six rabbits, it is A. For seven badgers, that would be B. For eight otters, it is I. It is I. For uh, nine martins is J. And for 10 hedgehogs, if you're catching a pattern here, hedgehogs is H. And I'm going to put that all in the chat right here. And, um, and there we go. I'm also um, giving you a link to Discover Wildlife, brought to you by the team at BBC Wildlife Magazine, from which uh, these descriptions and answers were um, they emitted from th that website. <laughs> I was wondering if the letters, because when D was deer, and I think another one I saw do the same thing, I thought, no. Nah. Right. Right. So, um, so if you notice that whenever I do a category, there's always some little additional assistance. And in this case, every animal that was within A through J, the answer was corresponded to the animal. Hey, what was, what was, what was rats? E. So why is that correspond to the animal? Everyone that, that, uh, whose first letter was within A through J corresponded. Not all of them. I just, I, I didn't plan on that. I just started noticing it as I did it. And so the ones that did have a letter, first letter that was in A through J, I, not, I made that, that be the correct answer. Okay, so if we were to read just them in order, because that's how I have it on the spreadsheet. It yeah. starts with rabbits, badgers. Uh, so, so I'm gonna, so I'll, I'll tell you, that's why when I did this, I said the answers are gonna be one and then the letter, right? Yeah, so that, I got it backwards, sorry. So that would help you. So I'm sorry I don't have them in alphabetical order, but I can say it again slowly for you to go through. Okay. Uh, here, I'll do it right now. A uh -huh. is rabbits. Rabbits. B is badgers. Uh -huh. C woodpeckers. D deer. E rats. F foxes. Um, G ge geese. Canada geese. H, hedge, hedgehogs, I, otters, J, martins, and that's it. Okay, perfect, I got it. Very good. Very good category, very unusual. Thank you. <laughs> like something I've never seen before. <laughs> I was hoping for chicken shit or parrot shit. <laughs> we, were, we were saying that uh, Isabella was saying that I'm sure that uh, Robin knows exactly what the rat poop looks like, though. She's got rat. Should have thrown us a curve and put elephant poop in there. I'm sure it would be large. It's the size of a loaf of bread. <laughs> That's visual. I do not need. Thank you. <laughs> Wonder bread. If you no, like a large Italian or French bread, you know. Kevin, if you see that when you're this summer while you're out hiking, <laughs> run in the opposite direction. <laughs> Do you know the joke about the bears, about the bear scat? You got to look that joke up. But Bill yeah. Cosby does a joke about bear scat. It's pretty funny. Okay. So, All right. So I hope you had fun. I hope you had fun in this category. It was fun. It was different. All right. It was different. Yeah, it was good. Well, good I, fun. I'm relieved that it's over. He's relieved. Uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'm going to mention this tomorrow when I go to my doctor's appointment because it's pre-screening for a colonoscopy, just so you know. <laughs> you can have all these categories. You can ask everybody in the waiting room. I'm sure they'll mm -hmm. love it. Mm -hmm. All right. So Vax to the max and on track to relax. How many points? That was when I was on. So Seven. Not bad. Seven, I think, is probably okay. Number two. Room number two. Rudy's lost law license legacy. We know ten. our shit. We got 10. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, my God. Somebody had to say that. Okay. We didn't wow, you, really wiped up. you really wiped up in that category. Yep. 
We are flushed with victory. <laughs> we didn't take our meds. How'd you do? We got seven. Really? Oh, I thought we had 10. <laughs> All right. Frankly, we did win this game, right, Yoshi? Not yet. Six. <clears throat> well, remember the strategy on the first category is always to do one less than everybody else. So that oh, somebody new comes oh, in. Brilliant, brilliant. Player. Yeah. See? So got, maybe that's what you guys are doing. Got that blue origin name. to Uranus with Bezos Prime package. <laughs> I wish to send Bezos to Uranus too. Seven. Seven. Okay. Well. Frankly, we did win this game, right, Yoshi? That's a good play because they'll probably get the next person. Very good. So seven, ten, seven, six, seven. Good job. Good job, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Very proud of you. That was very which different. One, I like that. Threw you for a loop. Which one threw you for a loop? The rat. Oh. I. Jeff, which one did we get wrong? We got that one right, Susan. Yeah, oh, uh, we got like we were really we like got, that was almost the last one we picked. We got like seven, eight, and ten cycled by one. That like they were all they were all off by one. Seven, nine, and ten. So nine and ten. Yeah. Yeah, we that's right. Did a... okay. we, we, we got we got the following wrong. Rats, badgers, martins, which I don't even know what it was, and a hedgehog. Well, we'll know next time we find a, a marlin. Martin. See, Martin was the only one I was kind of sure of. Martin. It's a, it's in or, the, the one that poops on the dead animals. Which one poops on dead animals? Fox. Ah, that makes sense. Very sly. Fly like a fox. A thing pooping, to do. On, pooping on his prey. Or dead animals. I guess it's like calling dips. It's Why adding do that? insult to injury. To fatal injury. <laughs> it's like them laughing at him. Ha <laughs> ha, you're dead. <laughs> I'm gonna poop on you now. I mean, why? Why would a fox do that? Nobody know. They're sly. Okay. Next time I talk to one, I'll ask them. They said it was territory. They mock the territory. Yeah. I guess. I don't know well, why it'd be on a dead animal. What animal leaves a six-foot pile of poop? I am. And then gets shot by I'm looking for something to make it less taste less dry. T Rex. Mm. Say it one more time because Isabella or somebody's talking. What was it? Somebody's talking very loud, doesn't know they're talking on the mic. Say it again, Mike. Isabella is trying for more. Uh, she wants drama. That's what she's going for. Mike? We what? should have listened to what she said. I don't know what she said. It might have been drama worthy. I want to listen to Mike. Tell it again, Mike. I said, What animal leaves a six foot pile of poop and then gets shot by Steven Spielberg? Ah, Triceratops. Bigfoot. Bigfoot. <laughs> There's a Triceratops. Jurassic Park joke. Oh. There was oh. a picture from the shooting of Jurassic Park where they have Steven Spielberg is sitting next to the Triceratops model. And it got posted around Reddit like, oh, look at this bad hunter man. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, how dare he? Kill the dinosaur. All right, Carl, you're up. Mm. Carl, Carl. What do you got for us this week? What, what uh, fictional... Nope, no fictional stuff. Oh, what? Cats, nope, we're done. I'm cats? not playing. I'm out. <laughs> cats and other filiforms. Ooh. What? Bats? Bring everybody cats. in. Three, two, one. Put it in the chat, please, if you haven't already. It is. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read cats. a couple couple pe couple facts and pieces of information before I read the questions. The, you don't have to know these things, but it kind of helps explain. So the mammalian order of carnivora can be divided into two subclasses. Cat-like filiformia, which includes true cats and other cat-like animals, and caniformia, which includes true dogs and other dog-like animals. Typically, filiforms have short snouts and retractable claws, while caniforms tend to have long snouts and non-retractable claws. What's a filiform? Cats and cat-like animals. Cat like. It, it's a specific taxonomic subclade that includes all 
cats and cat-like animals that are believed to have a common ancestor. It's the same root word for feline. What about thundercats? <laughs> oh, well, if you get bit by a radioactive cat, then yeah. you turn into a thundercat. So, have we ever seen the scat of a filiform? Maybe. What would it look like? Uh, every single day. And another yeah, you see it every day, Susan. Not mine. My cat's close. Another, another piece of information. Oh, oh that's right. You let your members... cats out through the raccoon door. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> All extant members of the cat family Felidae can be grouped into two different subfamilies, Felinae and Pantherinae. It's generally accepted that members of Felidae can... Did you Felinae. Oh. Let me correct that typo there. Felinae can purr but not roar, while members of the Pantherinae can roar but not purr. So, given those pieces of information, the first question. Is this going to be fact fictional cats? No, this is this is all real stuff. It's not sci-fi. These are all cat. about current not cats. None of these are extinct cats that don't exist anymore. These are all no thunder cats. Okay, got it. And they're cats and cat-like animals. Which of the following non-cat members of Carnivora is a member of Filiformia, though it's not a cat? A skunk, a hyena, a red panda, a raccoon, a jackal, or a ferret? Number two. Name the only extent cat native to the Western Hemisphere that can roar. It's also the largest extent cat native to the Western Hemisphere. What does the Western Hemisphere consist of? Uh, basically the Americas. Okay. As opposed to the West, the Eastern Hemisphere, which is Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia. Number two, name the only cat native to, oh, wait, wait, wait. Number three, name the largest extent cat native to the Western Hemisphere that can purr. Number four, name the largest cat ex extent cat native to the Eastern Hemisphere that can purr. Number five, name the largest extent cat that has only semi-retractable instead of fully retractable claws. Number six, a group of cats is a clouder. What is another term for a litter of kitten? Hint, you might be able to read about this fact in an ebook. Number seven, in 2005, the first cat video was uploaded to YouTube. And what year was the first cat video movie made? 1887, 1894, 1904, or 1911? Eight, when cats walk, they move both their right feet, then both their left feet. Only two other animals walk this way. Quadrupeds. Name one of those two animals. Number nine. Fact or myth. Solid white domestic cats have an increased rate of deafness compared to other domestic cats. Number 10, I'm going to share my screen, but I'm also uploading a picture based on what you see in the photo of them. Second. 
Is the cat moist? (laughs) (laughs) Is it genetically possible for my two cats, Phoebe and Ursula, to be genetically identical twins? The black one is Ursula, and the black and white one is Phoebe. Is it genetically possible for my two cats, Phoebe and Ursula, to be identical twins? How is this different from asking whether they are? Can they be? Is it possible that well, they could be genetically question. identical twins? So when cats are in the same litter, can they be can they be genetically identical well, twins? Well, it's a given that it's possible to have genetically identical twin cats. But based on what you see looking at these two cats, is it possible that these The two point two is they don't look identical. Exactly. So can they be? Did you have a bottle of bleach accident once? <laughs> no. Good Phoebe question. Phoebe's gotten some white paint. That is Phoebe's there- natural coloration. She didn't have but a, they're both the same sack. A dye they're job, both female. Dye job. She didn't go to the salon earlier tonight? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I think we got it. Any questions? Anybody else? I think we got it. Ready? Go to your cat houses. Yeah, go to your cat rooms. And I'm going to go into Rudy's Lost Law License Legacy, see if there's anything I can do to help. You heard about that building that collapsed in Miami? Yeah. yeah. God, it was like 100 people morning. missing. That's, they had no chance whatsoever. Yeah, apparently there was a group of Australians. It in the afternoon or something. Maybe some people wouldn't have been at home, but oh, just awful. They did, um, there's just a headline that came up said, where is, it, where is it? I just saw it. Many Australians could be could have been in that building. Why? A oh. group of Australians are among a hundred people who are missing. Oh, wow. wow! Like they're visiting. I don't know. They might have stayed in a hotel over there. I mean, yeah, the condos yeah. though, so they would have had to have like rented a condo. I just a group of Australians are among people missing. Yeah, um, my mom just said there's a lot of rentals in that area. But you know what? No psychic predicted it, did it? Did they? <laughs> Ooh, add nope. it to the list. Add it to the list. Well, Although, it's out, it's, it's out of the know. it's out of our time period. Oh, um, that would have been added to the list. I'll ask I'll ask some of my the um, Thomas John if he predicted it. All right, go back to our kitties. Number uh, one. It's a hyena, I think. I think I read that just like the other day, that like I, hyenas are really part of the cat family, and something uh-huh. else was. Part of the dog benefit. No? Hmm? Not skunks, huh? Like maybe a hyena would be a cat and a jackal would be a dog and they look kind of the same to us, but they're not. Is that does that make sense? I don't know. I think I just remember reading recently that hyenas were part of the cat family. Oh I, hyenas yeah. are really weird. I don't think it would be the others. I mean it could be. I I could be wrong. I'd, I'd, I would. I, I wouldn't be unhappy with that. It's like it's, it's a good guess. something I read on the internet. So yep. but I think uh, hyenas are so weird that they could be part of any family. So I like it. Okay. Anybody not like hyena? We're good. I've never been prone to liking hyenas. I hope it's that because that's the only one I have the slightest idea on. Okay. So, what's the ex cat? What does that mean? Oh. My guess was like a puma or jaguar. Extent I think it's going to be puma. currently living and not yeah. extinct. It's oh, not okay. extinct. So it's not like a saber-toothed tiger. It's a thing that you could theoretically find, even though jaguars are hard to find. I'm just struggling with what's bigger. Oh, this isn't the big one. No, this That's is the only one. That I, I, go, I go with jaguar, I think. Is jaguar a North American, though? Well, it's Western Hemisphere. Okay. No, number two is both roar? big, both big, and roar. Oh, it's also the largest. Yeah. I think a jaguar is well. Then you have height versus I, mass. They can't. They can't roar. Jaguars. They can't. They I can't? don't think mountain lion. Do mountain lions roar? No. Oh. I so. oh, I would guess that a mountain lion would roar over a. You think? 
Jaguar. So maybe Jaguar's purr? Yeah. Okay. So we'll go with Mountain Lion for two. Wow. I've driven a Jaguar really proud, let me tell you. Heard like a kitten. <laughs> okay, the largest, I know that a tiger can purr, and that's the largest, in whatever hemisphere it is, the tiger's purr. And that's like one of those things that, that's kind of Eastern odd. hemisphere. I think it was one of our trivia questions before. So, so three would be the Jaguar, we think. A kitty under my toes. Yeah. Is there a kitty down there? Imogen is underneath my foot. I just put my foot down all these questions. And four then would be the tiger, the Kemper. I'm pretty sure it was a tiger. Does anybody I remember? I feel like tigers. So uh, the thing that Carl said at the beginning made me think it was like they either purr or they roar. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. both. But... Do do tigers lions roar? lions roar? I don't know about tigers. I, I don't know. It it is like I remember accepted. that in the question before. It's generally accepted that members of Felinae can purr but not roar, and members of Pantherinae can roar but not purr. So it seems like they can only do one. From that description, I don't know that I've ever heard a tiger. Oh, that's roar. right. We do have this. Cheap, right i feel like i've heard a tiger roar but that could just be like disney movies in mm. my head so don't <laughs> trust me it was a musical that's why it was on broadway all i think could be the mandela effect yeah that's true. you know yeah. when you certainly you've seen something or done something or it was th a reality this happened hmm. um so for why don't we come back to four? We might get through some of these others. Okay. Because Susan's with us and she has cats under her desk. I do have a cat. Yes, I'm you almost have the answer. So the semi-retractable claws. I got nothing. Okay, so we know the cheetahs. Um, they cheat. No, they don't. Their claws, I don't think, ret retract. And that oh. helps them give them the traction when they run, right? You say we know that. You know that. <laughs> it was a trivia category, you guys. I did one on cats, season so, one. So I'm are they go, full, like, are they fully then, retractable though? Are they semi-retractable or, okay, or not retractable at all? What do you think? Okay, the largest that I don't know. Semi retractable instead of I fully retractable. Possibly it would be cheetah. I think it's the best guess we've got, unless anybody has another suggestion. It's a brilliant no. deduction, Watson. Okay, a group of cats is a clouder. It that has was also a, a one of kindle. our questions. It has to be a Kindle, right? Kindle, yeah. The, the oh, name that makes of a, sense. Yeah, a little e reader. Is yeah. a kindle, a oh, that's kindle. brilliant. Okay, good. That makes it's sense. a cla that's a classic old trivia question. I've never heard it. Okay, yeah. Kindle. One of those groups of whatever questions. Yeah. Cat video was up. Okay, the first cat video uploaded to YouTube was the keyboard cat. But they're asking for way before that. Okay, so, when the first... like, well, I'm just throwing that out there. Look like I know something. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it could be really. Yeah, right. go, oh my gosh, wow, she's brilliant. She knows keyboard it cats. Probably right. was before 1911. Yeah. So it'll be one of the other two, one of the other three, I would guess. I would guess in the middle, either eight or. First, so let's say it's a movie. What the would, heck would that have been? Could have been a cartoon cat? Were there like, movies? Like Disney? Somebody filmed a cat. Yeah. Oh, so it wasn't like a fancy movie Academy Award winner. I would imagine it was a short. <laughs> it could have just been filming something and the damn cat got in the way, you know. Yeah. Like mine is right here, Hamilton. Yeah. The way they do. He's watching. So 94 or 04? Anybody have a preference? 04? No idea. Just I, no I'd idea. go with 04. I like it's 04. a It's a guess, a pure guess. Yeah, uh, any 04 uh, 94 would be my, my preferred guess, but it's just a guess. I've never noticed how a cat walks. Here, let's see Hamilton. So are we going with 94 or 04 for, we have, we need a vote for seven. Oh, I, I vote for 94. 
I vote for I don't, O4. I don't really care. <laughs> Neutral. That doesn't help. I they have, have no time. preference though. Mike, do you have a preference? I do not. We need a tiebreaker. I was doing what, L4. What's the question we're looking at? Se uh, seven. seven. Either that or Richard and I have to arm wrestle over a. And what are, what are we down to? 94 or 94. I just thought the 1800. I think 94. I'd say 94. Right. Thank God we have a tiebreaker. When cats walk, they move both their right feet and then their left feet. I never have a, noticed that. Is it a pig? I'm trying to picture a pig walking and I can't picture it moving like front and then back. Babe. I was thinking giraffe too. I think giraffes do that. But I'm uh, not sure. Thanks. One doesn't notice that much, does one? I've never noticed my cats doing that. It'd be an elephant. Mm. No, elephants, I think. I think you've seen elephants. Because the otherwise it would be like alternate arm and leg. Right. I'm trying to picture animals walking and suddenly I don't know how animals walk. Yeah. Well, it's not something you really think about much. We're going to be looking at scat and animals walking. You watch. I, I, pig is a good answer. I'll go with pig. I, if you guys have other ones that you I can don't think a pig in your head, go for it. Cause I, that was just the first thing that popped into my head. Mike's being I'm just, quiet. I'm just visualizing elephants walking and I got this funny idea that they. I, I feel like it's hard to picture because, like, if you're moving your left, both left legs at the same time, you have to have all of your weight shifted to your right side and then all of your weight shifted to your left side. But that happens with elephants. I rode an elephant yeah. once and it kind of does that. Okay. So let's go with elephants then because. Yeah, you know, for some reason, that's just one of those weird things that popped into my head. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Okay, but, you know. so he's got elephants on the brain. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, and it says name one of those animals. So there might be, there's two actually. So it could be pigs and elephants. So pick elephants, that's fine. Okay. It's all my guess, domestic cats. My guess for nine is that it would be a fact because solid white tells me like recessive stuff uh -huh. going on and so that's why it that's true yes that that is it's like mice i think it's it's yeah they have a recessive yeah yeah, yeah. have you yeah. heard what? that uh, cats that have um that are orange are female yeah i've heard that one i don't know if it's true but i've always heard that and i've any cat i ever had was orange was yeah. a female or it's very unlikely to have a male is what i mean that is orange. Okay, based on which you can see the photo of them. I think it's true. I would lean towards yes. I feel like there's going to be like some interesting reason why. If they were clones, um, either way. If they were clones, then they would they 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 would be identical. My question would be, what would be responsible for coloring besides DNA? Because yeah. if they're genetically There's, identical, there has to be something else that's changing. Their yeah, color. I think I've seen this before where they've pictured two animals which are identical clones, twins, and they look different. This happens. So the answer well, is... He's asking me for help, but I don't have any way of helping him. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I'd say number 10 is possible. So what does it mean, Carl? They're asking for help in one of the rooms. Uh, well, I'm going. I'm going to go. I'm going to each of the rooms just to give everybody a little clarification. To be uh -huh. fair, at the top, when I tell you about the characteristics of caniforms and field forms, I said typically they're this way or that way. I didn't say universally all caniforms are this and all field forms are that. I said okay. typically. Okay. Well, they're asking for help. And everyone we that. They were asking for help, and we didn't take our meds. So, if you want to go answer their okay. question, I will get to them. Let's see. So, because we're, we're almost done. Oh, that's where I'm going. Yeah. 
That makes me feel better about answering tiger for four. Cause if he said it's not like exclusive, then maybe a tiger purrs and roars. Cause it's special. Hmm. You should hear my cats at dinner time. They roar. Uh huh. All right. So are we going with cats? <laughs> okay. Like so cats. wait, what makes a cat? So if, if, if they're in a litter, I don't know the answer to this. So if they're in a litter, are they like twins? I don't think so. So they I can, mean, I think I heard they can have different fathers. Yes. Well, yeah. I think it's the same as like with a human baby, you can have identical twins and fraternal twins. Like a, an identical twin would have to be the same um, embryo splitting. Yeah. So it can happen, but does not always happen. Oh. Hello, babies. Yeah, can that was they be identical night. twins? Oh. Genetically identical twins. Look at Kelly. She's all on the wood. Sorry, I was it just weird looking. Explaining the question to me. Can they be I genetically identical and have different coats? Marks? Yes. You think so? Yes. Well, that's okay. strictly. So there's your answer. The answer to ten, I would, I would put down, is it's possible. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do we get all the questions? Yeah, I think we we have answers written down for everything. Right. Do you want me to go through what we have? <laughs> well, we got a minute, so go ahead. Nobody else is back. I have hyena, mountain lion, jaguar, tiger, cheetah, Kindle. 1894, elephant, fact, yes. Okay, is ready for, okay with that? And uh, Susan, mm -hmm. I have a uh, category ready to go for next week if you need another one. Yeah, okay, that'd be great, Mike. And I, I can't do next week, but I can do the week after okay. if you're looking for people. All right, then. So Mike, your third. And then let me get to Halloween. I'm planning going to Oregon one of these weeks, and I am not sure if I'm going to be back on time for trivia or not. I haven't decided yet. Where are you going in Oregon? I'm going to go see Janine. I'm going to go pick up the Jerry Andrus collection. Mm. Ooh. And I'm going to go see um, Ray Hyman. Oh, give him my best. Okay, I will. I've got a project coming up and I want to see him. Okay. Tell him, tell him to stop uh, making all those weird uh, congressional district maps. Oh, okay. I got like it. Like it. Okay. Gerriander. That's what they call Gerry when they Andrew. do the uh, weird district maps. I appreciate it at my I'm closing <laughs> the rooms on that. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. You got us out of here. Leaving. Kelly, your background has me worried for your parents. They must have exploded into a TARDIS. <laughs> Kelly and I are before and after, you see. Yeah. Oh, I see. Um, Susan, I'm using your notebook that you designed. Oh, the fuck Trump one? Yep. Oh, that's nice. Are you doing special things in that one? Um, logic puzzles and homework. Okay. I have a question for the group as a whole. So I'm supposed to be going to like a 4th of July party and I'm afraid to wear red, white, and blue because I don't want to look like a Republican. And you, need know any that, you need to take back red, white, and blue and flags <laughs> as American. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Yes. Don't the let them take them. Yeah, don't let them take your reason. Reason. Don't let them steal it. Just, just wear a fuck Trump hat and along with your outfit. <laughs> but, <laughs> but red, white, red, white, and blue are the colors. You'd be all wear my flag, uh, so you're okay. my Biden hat. <laughs> You know what you can there you go. I have a fuck Trump. Oh, you don't need to wear a mask anymore. Wear a rainbow hat. Mask. 
Oh, did you see what? Did, did you? Maybe I can. I have like a white shirt. Maybe I can just put like a Biden Harris sticker on my shirt because I have a bunch of those. Just did you put, see like, the it, other like, smack dab in the middle of my shirt? Did you see the other news today where uh, Joe Biden was speaking at a country western thing because Brad Paisley was there and she got on there and it was in Nashville, and because they're very badly vaccinated and trying to you know get people there vaccinated and when she started talking about vaccines they booed her. Whoa! I heard about that. But she replied. You're booing yourselves. Yeah. <gasps> oh, good. I don't know who she is, but I like her. Dr. Biden is Joe Biden's uh, The first lady. Oh, oh, I thought she said a country and western singer. No, That's I said she was, who. she was with well, she used Brad to be. Paisley, who was a country western singer. <laughs> yeah. That's Brad, pa- you Brad Paisley. Is, you're talking about. Brad Paisley is playing there on the July 4th. Isn't Brad Paisley like a Trump supporter? Or is that somebody else? I'm thinking no, of? no. I'm thinking of another guy. All right, I'm thinking of Blake score. Shelton, I think. Let's get to the scores. Are we, I have a, I made brownies. They're going to be delicious. <laughs> and I'm yes. the other, and they're all ice. I made them so li- late last night. Thanks. So have them for well, why, why are you telling us? Can I go over and get some? Because I want to be able to go get my brownies in a big, tall oh, glass of milk. Okay, go ahead, quick. Well, I Let's hope go. you send some to me, honestly. <laughs> you got to come over here. <laughs> I could have done with this information earlier. Yeah. <laughs> so, you so here today, you know, you simultaneously have them delivered to everybody. Right. Susan, you point. need to make a batch now and then drop it in the mail for all of us so that we have it for next week's trivia. Simultaneously, they have to be delivered. Like the doorbell, yes, everybody's doorbell brownies. should ring right now. You need to because inform it's not the, enough Susan, that you need to inform the US. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know I did brownie mentioning brownies and a big tall glass of milk was going to get you. You need to inform the US poster <laughs> so we all want them immediately right now. This is the drama. Here's where here's where the cell is to next. Just plan it so that next week when we're playing trivia, everybody's doorbell rings at the same time. We Ding all dong. get a delivery. Well, she would have had to send Richard's like last cookies, week. Cookies, pizza, whatever you're eating. <laughs> And I don't know if you can send food to, to Canada, can you, from here? No. no Guess the number, food. Susan. Come on. I think, Guess the number. Um, you can send like cook, you can send like candy and stuff. Richard, yeah. five. Okay, here we go. It's Richard rolling dice. Okay. Yeah, but this one. Oh, forget He's four. That. He was mean. Susan, what do you think it's gonna be? It's mean. He's mean. I'm not prepared with cat. Okay, here we go. Carl, can you please help us? <laughs> Okay, so number one, the non-cat filiform is a hyena. Uh, Yay! Hi, uh, uh, hey. tied to your this. Wikipedia page. We know we can't trust Wikipedia. Thank you, Paula. <laughs> number two. She knows her hyenas. The largest cat in the Western Hemisphere, the only cat in the Western Hemisphere that can roar, the jaguar. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Is that really the pudding, or do we talk ourselves out of that? We talked ourselves out of it. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing we okay. put is jaguar. It's an eight cylinder. It's got an eight cylinder V8. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really Richard says he's dressed in <clears throat> jaguar and it can purr. It can purr. <laughs> All right. The largest cat in the winter. Aww. 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 Look at your pretty kitty. Just before you bite your hand off. I will accept cougar, puma, mountain lion, or Florida panther. Will oh. you accept the right answers in the wrong spots? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Raccoons Aww. purr really nicely, too. Okay. <laughs> the largest cat in the Eastern hemisphere that can purr. Oh no. Is a cheetah. Oh. Yay, we got one right. That's the one I saw on Letterman. Oh. Wow. He's not purring, he's cheating. He's yeah. He's a cheetah. He's a big cheetah. Oh, I want one of those. Is that you petting him, Carl? I wish. Cheetah. Wow. Cheetahs and pumas are closely related. Which is why I thought it was cheetah. Oh, look, the name of the cheetah. He had to bring yeah, his this cat. Is, to this him. is the largest cat in my house that can purr because he's the largest cat in my house. <laughs> oh, wow. That makes sense. That makes total sense. Okay. Answer to number five.
is also cheetah. Yes. Right. Hey. Oh my gosh. Yes. Right. <laughs> well, we were going to be wrong on that because you already used cheetah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, I lost. Hey, I lost hey. track. Three is cheetah. No. No. It's... Three is puma or cougar or mountain lion or Florida panther. Four is and leopard. Five, or four is cheetah. Five is cheetah. Four is five are cheetah. Five are cheetah. Whoa! I got one. <laughs> Number six. I would hope everyone got the hint. But it's a kindle of kittens. Mm -hmm. That's okay. clever. It's not a caboodle, huh? Good call, team. Nope. That was clever. Now, number seven, I spent a lot of time researching, and there are two different videos that claim to be the first, but luckily, they're both in the same year of 1894. Yes. Yes. Ah. One of them is a uh, falling oh. cat. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't I share I it. Hold on a second. Me. I forgot to share. There we go. Okay. It's falling cat. Oh. It dropped the cat? Wow. 10 million views in the month. The upside down. <laughs> the drop is upside down to see how it In how the last it year than ever. It. Boxing cats. <laughs> Another one. No way. Thomas Edison's <laughs> boxing cat. No way. <laughs> That's awesome. That is not I have little gloves on it. <laughs> Poor kitty oh, cat. That would definitely go viral. Oh my god. <laughs> that is not real. <laughs> I, think I did not have boxing cats in 1894. The Somebody guy's holding them. For you reference. Sure on YouTube is not true. Yeah, yeah. for reals. For <laughs> reference. The first ever cat video uploaded to YouTube. It's Keep relatively right unimpressive by modern standards. Oh. That is the first. It's only got. As far as anyone can tell, this is the very first cat video of the game. It's they not the best. Video game. It's the first. Right. But like, even as early as it was, it's still got 188,000 views. Pretty and good. There's all sorts of people in the comments saying, I can't believe this doesn't have more views considering this is the first cat video ever uploaded. I don't believe it. What well, year? 2005, six? 18, oh yeah, 2005. For the I thought it was video. Keyboard Cat was the first cat video. Hey, I do know what the first video ever uploaded to YouTube is because I researched this for a question. It's it, was a guy, the zoo, it? it was a guy who visited the zoo and there was elephants and it's like 30 seconds long. It's like, yes. hey, speaking, we're at the zoo today. Speaking of we're elephants. At, we're at the oh. zoo and, and we saw the elephants. And that's about all it is. Number eight, number eight, please be elephants. Getting there, hold on. Uh, I'm with you, Rob. I wanted to be elephants too. Walk yeah, this so way. Number eight. Talk this way. Come on, baby needs a point. <laughs> Daddy needs a point. Right, so leopard. first for reference, here elephant. is a leopard walking, so you can see what it looks like. And here he comes, right up to us. Oh. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, one correct answer is a camel. Oh. Yay. Hey. That's not going to be so, elephant. Hold on a second. Where'd it go? Firefox just crashed. I just have to relaunch it real quick. <laughs> a camel. Hmm. We were thinking of a pig. And, and the only reason why I know is I saw the link to the next video and what the <laughs> animal was. So, oh yeah, at the top. Sure. Yeah. So it, it's not an elephant. Okay. Sorry to break the news to you. So, I'm so there's some camels walking. They walk to music. You hear it? They walk like a camel. They always play country music when they walk. Fun fact. Apparently. I don't know why everyone obsesses like to put loud music behind their videos. I know, yeah. yeah, right? And it the other is the giraffe. Oh, oh damn! Right. I was thinking. Darn. We had them both, but we argued about it. I've never <laughs> ever. Really Dang it! That much attention. Damn. We knew camel was right, though. Yeah. Giraffe was right. Boo. But you know, all those videos where the the back foot was hitting first before the front, but. I'm but but they moved at the that. same time, though. Yeah. yeah it wasn't alternate. True. Number nine. Uh, this is white cats do have a 
higher incidence of deafness than other house cats. Uh, the, the gene that creates solid white cats, uh, the white masking gene, is linked to blue eyes and deafness. Deafness is due to a reduction in the population and survival of metal melanoblast stem cells, which in addition to creating pigment producing cells, develop a variety of neurological type cells. Good job, Kelly. She knew her deaf, deaf cats. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kelly knew it. What? Uh, I I knew it just from the standpoint of all the all the things I see online of their cats being deaf. They were all white, so I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's going to be true. It's not and there's also cats. deaf. All, kind, all yeah. kinds of animals are deaf. Still. Yeah, deaf. A lot of deaf dogs also white as well. Yeah, and deaf leopard. Remember. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cat. Hey, I like Def Leopard. It's a cat, so there you go. If you listen so to Def Leopard, 10. you become deaf. Uh, based on their appearance alone, it's still possible for my cats to be genetically identical twins. Yes. Because yes. the white, the, the gene for white spotting has variable expression, and a heterozygous cat with one white spotting gene can have anywhere between no and half white, and therefore Phoebe, who's half white, and Ursula, who has almost no white except for a couple little buttons on her throat and chest, could be, although it's very unlikely, genetically identical to Phoebe. Cool. Very good. So, so I want to ask a so question. So, Carl, do you know for a fact they are? No. Oh, I'm sure they're not. It's very unlikely. And this, hey, he, he's this ordered the 23 and me test. They're going to be showing up next week, and they'll <laughs> yeah, test their cats and get back to us. I, I, I think, think, uh, I think the about, service you want is 23 and meow. The one thing I've <laughs> uh, this be, Carl, would this be true only for females? It's uh, this could be true for males or females. White and white spotting are not sex linked traits. Okay, so it's not question. on the X, so it's not X silencing. It's no. I have a it's question. Just expression. But connected to that, what I've heard about cats is often cats, kittens from the same litter have different fathers. I've heard that. Too. That was that was one of the things that did not make the final cut of the question, and that mm -hmm. is true. Mm -hmm. I'd heard that. Hey, have you guys heard? And I asked my group, and they thought they'd heard this: that cats that are orange are female most of the time. No, it's no, not just orange. It's to be black and there are slightly female. higher incidence yeah. of male calico cats. Calico cats. Too many calico. Calico. What the reason it's calico cats is because calico. you cannot calico get cats. The, the uh, orange gene and the black gene are both held on the on the on the X chromosome, so you can right. get one of each if you have two X's. But if you have only one X because you're a male, you either get the black one or the orange one you get. Or they have the cat version of Kleinfelter where they're and, X -X and, and the yeah. orange and black patterning is random because early on in the development of the cat, each cell undergoes random X inactivation. And in each cell, one of the X chromosomes gets inactivated. And from that point on, that cell and all cells that derive from that cell by reproduction will be either the orange or black, depending which X is activated. Which means my orange. Which, which by the, also by the way, yeah. for for everybody who's been here for one of the times when I've streamed the kittens, uh, all of the orange cats are male, all of them. Oh, interesting. Um, and uh, the two female cats, they're both orange and black. So they're good examples of this. OK. Very good. So you, you can have a male calico, but it would be probably infertile because it would be XXY. Mm. Or a very rare chimera. <laughs> yes, I have very one rare. I adopted my cat is because she's an orange female, and they're very, female. very rare because of that. All the all the mm -hmm. orange cats I've ever had were females, so I've always thought I'd heard this, so I so thought it was true. I haven't had a survey, and I've never really had a group of thirty people on my Zoom screen that I could ask a question of this. Uh, Oh, so let's talk about something that's important with cats. Uh, so I've, I've had two cats who had cancer and likely at an injection site. And so I hate to say that I'm, you know, anti-vax, but for cats, it actually seems to be a thing. Have you heard this? Yeah, I've heard it. And I've talked about it with my vet. That's why they, when they give them their vaccines, they do different injection sites to prevent that from happening. Yeah, I read about it and there seems to be some so flaw in cat uh, genetic makeup, which makes this happen. And it's not so much from the, even the material that's in the vaccine, but it's just getting the damage internally from an injection. It's so weird. All right, let's do scores. I want my brownies and tall glass of milk. All right, so frankly, we. frankly, we did win this game, right, Yoshi? How'd you do? 
that I a, believe we got seven. Seven. I agree. Yeah. I got seven as well. All yeah. right. Okay. Blue Origin to Uranus with Bezos Prime Package. Five. 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 We didn't take I our math. We had six. Eight. No, oh, five. When did you? I, I had that we got four, six, seven, nine, and ten correct. But we had two. No. No. No, we did not. And, okay, and back to the max. Yes, we, we got those back. right. Four, six, seven, nine, and ten. That was five. Six. And Rudy's lost law license legacy, who was in the lead a minute ago. Six. Who is not in the lead? Oh no! Wait a second here. Wait just once. Just one. Wait just a second. darn just minute. Just a god darn minute. We are at 16 for, for Rudy's Lost Law License Legacy. And then followed by, we didn't take our meds. And then a tie for Yoshi's group and the Vax group. And then the Blue Origin to Uranus is, is behind. But everything's catchable. All catchable. All right. You guys see it? I made the font big. Nice. OK. I'm on my right, left. Break. Wait, wait, we need to take a picture, but who could? Wait, there's two screens. Somebody who can take a picture on two screens. I can do it. Just give me a sec here. <laughs> are we gonna lose? Uh, who are we gonna lose? Good You're job, good. good job, um, Carl. Avi's gonna leave. Hey, Rob, come back. We're taking a picture. Richard Saunders. <laughs> Richard on the phone. Everybody get their cats so the cats can be in the picture too. I can't All the cats should be on for this picture. No, my cat's I'll, sleeping I'll in a box. Oh, my cat's oh, sleeping. No, here's oh, here's my, my armadillo. I'll count three, two, one, and then we'll take a picture. How does that sound? Sure. Okay, ready? Three, two. There's a no armadillo. <laughs> one. Meow. <laughs> 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 I'm waiting for Susan's raccoon to jump in the picture. All right, we're good. All right. Wait, Paula just showed up. Take it again. I just showed up. I had to oh. go grab my cat. <laughs> Sorry, right, Paula. Right. You didn't want to see a picture. All right. right. I want to okay. see Paula's cat. All right. Are we ready? Uh huh. Paula's three. cat. <laughs> three, <laughs> two, one. Meow. Pretty Paula. Very. All right. Pretty. Yeah, that is a beautiful cat, Paula. Very pretty kitty. Okay, These five minutes, y'all. Mm -hmm. All right, Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut out shortly. I'm not going to play the next round. So I'm going to hang out. I want to hear what the next category is. Uh, Mendocino. We're going to go up to Mendocino. We have some family up there. Oh, nice. Mendocino um, County line. Some of our family friends, they live like further inland. They have a, actually, they have an olive, like an olive farm. They, they make like olive oil. And so, oh, so you know what? Yeah, the cat they have like the they have a farm. They got like the California like gold medal, gold standard for olive oil, and a couple right. of the county fairs. But there's our good our good family friends. So we're gonna go up and visit them, and I think my parents might leave me with them. They might. I think they, I don't know. I might do a day trip or something. But <laughs> I'm excited. They have, new, have a category on olives. They have a new dog, and the dog's really cute. So I'm excited, and they have chickens. So. Yeah, <laughs> I'm happy. I'm excited. All right, so we have a couple announcements. Richard, do you want to start? Oh, yes. Coming up on the next episode of the Skeptic Zone podcast, episode number 664, we have more COVID conspiracy madness with flyers left in letterboxes around Australia, things like the one world government is coming and COVID is bringing it in, things like that. You can count on Adrian with Adrian Hill with special guest Kelly Burke looks at some of the more waffly predictions from the Great Australian <laughs> Waffle Project, a uh, psychic prediction project. <laughs> Tim Mendham in the Book of Tim looks at Sears, Spies and Satan. And this week's Trove segment looks at psychic fraud. All that and more coming up on the Skeptic Zone, skepticzone.tv. Yeah. And Kelly and I are really professional, right, Richard? We're getting real close to getting this prediction project done. Hey, Richard, I'm writing a book. You need to write a book. I've written about 20 books. No, I'm on psychic predictions. Oh, I see. <laughs> so if I can do it, you can do it. I'm not done, so you could finish before me. That's fine. You have time, in other words. Yeah, you have time, and I think we should both do a book at the same time. 
Oh, and uh, don't forget to listen out for the Easter eggs this week on the show. You'll enjoy oh, them. Oh, okay. Kyle? Uh-oh. Yeah, this week on Data Skeptic, I talked to a researcher who's looking at uh, the astronomical survey data. Turns out we're taking so many pictures of space, there aren't enough humans to look at them. So they need to automate that process. And we talk about how they do that on Data Skeptic this week. Really? Yeah. Wow. So they but are we gonna... worried about washing out the colors by taking too many pictures of space? <laughs> <laughs> well, they have to edit out the UFOs and all of them. So, you know. It... Do we have any other announcements? Because that's all I got. Oh, well, I'm going on I... vacation. That's another announcement, I guess. <laughs> I, ha I do have some interesting yeah. news. So if people saw the uh, preview for Picard, which will have John Delancey in the second season as a major character, who plays Q, since I interviewed him for Skeptical Inquirer and uh, the Philadelphia Association of Critical Thinking had asked me previously, can I contact John to see if he'd be a speaker for my local skeptic organization? And I hadn't done it. So that gave me an excuse to say hi to John. And uh, they said, yes, we're going to, John said he will do that. So this is, awesome. the, this is the fact announcement for, and I need you guys to tune in because I don't, I don't want him to turn up and to be 20 people on the Zoom session. So this is for October 16th, and uh, it's the announcement announcing that John Delancey will be speaking via Zoom, and, uh, and the format will be, I am going to be interviewing him. Awesome. Get, get him for FRX. Oh, I'll have to put that 16. in my calendar. I don't want to miss that. So Q, so if we put Q, <laughs> Q lecture, I think we'll know what that means, right? <laughs> anonymous. So, lecture about Q, and he's anonymous. <laughs> he's gonna do a drop oh, i am definitely going to make that stuff. part of my q a with him because the q a uh, because uh like this would just be the kind of prank that q would play on human beings in the united states to do this i q still thing. think q is borat so what yep. time and is this something that we could put on our meetup yeah sure it's two, it'll announce. be a zoom session and it'll be two o'clock on that date Two o'clock, uh, East, Eastern, Eastern time. Eastern time. Okay. So I'd be Philadelphia. 11 here. Yeah, so it's interesting. This is the Philadelphia Session of Critical Thinking. So when I reached out to John, they said, you know, we've had speakers as, like James Randi, who actually, and Richard Saunders, who actually spoke there. So yes, mm -hmm. definitely. I've never spoken for them. I'm getting upset now. I Where should have an announcement for next Where week. we find this thing? Well, I'll, I'll be publicizing it when we get much closer. It's October. We'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, and 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 you'll be good with us publicizing it through. Absolutely. Yeah. The more people, the, the better. Yeah. Okay. The more people, the better. You should be yeah. all attending okay. all the lectures, you guys. There's, Rob, yep. what's the date again? Sorry. Uh, it's in the chat, but it's uh, October 16th. October 16th. Well, so, well, which 17th. is the 17th, 17th for you in the middle of the night, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> record, record me a promo and I'll put it on the Skeptic Zone. Oh, That's so great. cool. Okay, I will do that. Thank you. All right. So the only announcements I have is GSOW just hit 91 million page views. Ooh. Ooh. Man. I've been trying to track where we should be to, so that we'll hit our 100 million. And I think I have 100 million figured out sometime in October, I think. And so we're ahead of schedule. We were supposed to hit a, a 91 million on July 1st mm -hmm. and we Yeah, are... but I can click really fast and change that. <laughs> just click on those pages. Click, 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 click. So we're oh, gonna set up some today... bots that are just gonna go click links for us. <laughs> Don't say yeah, that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it next week. Also, uh, Rob was uh, shared with me today that the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe uh, Wikipedia page which, that we wrote hmm. years ago was, on, was almost deleted. Some guy <laughs> tried to delete the Wikipedia page, went through the deletion process and we're like, Rob's like, what? And, oh. the, and the guy who was trying to delete it said, this person, Susan Gerbic and Rob Palmer, writing some For the article, little known magazine, Skeptical little known Inquirer. The magazine, Skeptical Inquirer, and they shouldn't be allowed. And so anyway, and they belong to this project called the Gorilla Skepticism Wikipedia Project. And then Rob's telling me, oh my gosh. And so I went and I, I was, we were talking about it in our cabal, but before we got a chance to do anything, other Wikipedia editors that had nothing to do with our cabal went in and just were like, this is ridiculous. How could you possibly think that? And they just went through and they never didn't bring us up, Rob. They didn't bring yep, GSOW into it, which was nice. Right. They, this this oh. is so laughable. The Wikipedia has a thing that if, you, if you're an editor and you do something so stupid, 
they there's a meme and they actually put a picture of a of a dead trout and it's called trouting you on your <laughs> on your user page. So the kid, we're gonna trout this guy. <laughs> Nice. If you get hit in the head with a dead trout. Okay. Anyway. (laughs) And so that's what happened today. And it was so nice because we didn't have to get involved. We were like on top of it, but we didn't have to, other people just took care of it. It was great. And so I think think I'll have an announcement next week, next Thursday. I think I should have an announcement for you that will will be interesting. And I'm going to need your guys' help with it. And it's not writing another book, but it's (laughs) something else. Anyway, I'm ready to get back. You guys ready? We've got Kevin. Kevin's yep. up next. Say something, Kevin, so I can find yep. you. Yep, I'm up here. You're Down up here, here like Somewhere you're in a different right. place. For you're at the you're at the bottom for me. I, I'm in the Chicago fountain right now. Uh oh. My category Chicago, is Chicago. That's the, the start of uh, the Buckingham Fountain. Buckingham Fountain. Yeah. Uh, is it going to be about uh, animals? Category Married with called, children. Married with Children, yep, and and also the start of uh, the the vacation movie. Um, category is mystery cities. I'm Ooh, give you some, oh, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna give you some hints, and you tell me what the city name is. Okay, All right. Leading everybody okay. in three, two, one. Okay, sounds fun. Sorry, I can't stick around for it. I'm gonna say goodnight, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the game. See you Hi, next Rob. time. Rob, 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 Rob would have known them all too. Sorry, team, whoever he's. <laughs> okay. The first question The third largest city in Massachusetts shares its name with Homer Simpson's hometown. Question number two There are two cities with the same name. Okay, let me put the question in there. These two cities share the same name. One was the first permanent English settlement in what would become the United States, and the other is the birthplace of comedian Lucille Ball. Same name, different states. I just need the city name. City number three. Question number three. A spinoff of Family Guy shares the same name as the city where President James A. Garfield is buried. Question number four. Speaking of presidents, Speaking of dead presidents, where is McKinley's tomb and library? Question number five. I don't want to say this one because I don't want to sing it. I'll say it kind of slowly. Complete the song lyric. It was raining hard in blank. I needed one more fare to make my night. Question number six. What city has the tallest building in its state nicknamed the Batman building? And Rob would have known this one. Batman! I was like, sorry. I thought it was a mute. (laughs) Adrian's got a son here. The city where Bob Bob Dylan went electric and this city also hosted the America's Cup 12 times from 1930 to 1983. This city's skyline includes a 1,815-foot tower considered one of the seven wonders of the modern world by the American Society of Civil Engineers. Also the birthplace of singer Aubrey Drake Graham.
this question number nine has two parts, fill in the blanks. A blank is a person trained to make wooden casks, barrels, vats, buckets, tubs, troughs, and other similar containers from timber staves that were usually heated or steamed to make them pliable. That's the first word, fill in that blank. And then the second part, a word with the definition, dialectical, chiefly Britain, past participle of steel, the word steel. So put those two together, it names a city. And the final question, what do the above cities all have in common? Any questions? And don't, if you have a question, don't describe part of the city because you don't want to give anybody else a hand. Any questions? Everybody's muted, so I can't tell if anybody has any questions. Boxers or briefs? <laughs> Depends. Depends. <laughs> That's the standard comedy answer. Oh, uh, got another dad joke. How's your son doing? Uh, good and bad. We drove no, all the way out not there. Not son, the other son. No, I'm not talking to you, Adrian. I'm talking to Kevin's son. We drove all the way out there, and he can't take his car, so he's got to send it back. <laughs> and he's going to Korea, not to Georgia. Wow. He was supposed to go to Georgia for training and they, they changed his plans and they sent him to Korea uh, by the end of the month without the car. Well, he won't need his car in Korea. That sounds great. I'd yeah, love that doesn't sound good. All right, no, we're ready to go? He'll, he'll be able, he'll be able, they won't ship it. He'll be able to buy one when he gets there. I'm ready to go if anybody has any questions. I think we're okay. I think they're all self-explanatory. Yep. Oh, I hope I try to make hey, it easy. Look at Michelle Franklin's coming back. And she was in room one, right? Send people to their rooms. Okay. So Kevin, you're going to go to the third room. We didn't take our meds. Yep. That was my room. And that's where I go now. Yep. Sir. Yeah. Yeah, Springfield. Oh, God damn it. I'm going to turn off video. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can watch this later. You're not going to get on the Netflix show. Yeah, you can watch this later, Kevin. You should go somewhere else. Um, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yes. So, so yeah. One. Yeah. For, for two, I don't remember the birthplace of Lucille Ball, but I'm pretty sure the, the city is Jamestown. Yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> I thought we had Jamestown Lucille Ball for a category right. once. Didn't we have Lucille Ball? We had Is Lucille three, Ball was one of our place? categories. And I'm sure her hometown was one of them. I don't the, know the Cleveland was. show was a spinoff of a family guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was trying to think of the name of the town. Okay. Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cleveland Brown. Yeah. Cleveland Brown. That's right. Or I don't know. Well, yeah. Not a big McKinley fan. <laughs> All right, that was a Harry Chapin song, right? About the, the guy <gasps> that picks up uh, the, um, lady, the taxi and recognizes that. Number four is in Ohio somewhere. McKinley is in Columbus, isn't it? Or not? No, it's not Columbus. It's um. I think I went to his Cincinnati? library. No, I've never been to Cincinnati. Oh, okay. Well, like we Ma also Mason, might be able Manson. We also might be able to get it if we get enough of these oh, yeah, that the number theory. ten makes any sense. Yeah, yeah that's true. Oh, so, oh, I thought number nine was the only one that we were supposed to get the other cities have in common. Okay, no, all of them make it. Okay, you're right. Yeah, all of them. All of them. But I think McKinley is in Ohio. Um, okay. Okay. Number five, wasn't that the Harry Chapin song about 
No idea. He's driving a taxi and he picks up this woman and realizes that they you rain and hard and what's the rest of the lyric then? No idea. Boy, it's God. It's ringing a bell. It's ringing a bell. And did anybody remember the song? No. It was called Taxi or something. It was Harry Chapin. Song. Is Six Seattle? I Is actually that? think it's in Tennessee. I'm trying to remember the city because I'm, I'm yeah. picturing the building right now. I've never. I've yeah. The tallest building in Seattle is definitely not known as the Batman Building. No, it's probably Seattle's probably number eight, right? That's why I was made a mistake. Well, I think uh, Drake was born in uh, Toronto. No, eighteen hundred and fifteen foot tower. That's well, a big CN, giant CN uh, tower. Isn't tower. the CN Tower in Toronto? So that's I was thinking of the oh for number eight. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I'm pretty sure Drake is yeah. from Toronto. Okay, well then, then it's it's probably Toronto. Yeah, that was. Bob Dylan, that was Newport Jazz Festival because that was so because he did the he also did the thing about the venues. Yeah, we just remember. had we just had Dylan before with the um, I'm trying to remember the city. Because we get we it was a mix and match. It was new it was Newport we had to figure Jazz out the Festival. venue where he went um right, Newport. Am I muted? No. Can you hear me? Oh, you were quiet. Americans oh, come definitely make hear Newport you. sounds reasonable. Yeah, it was a Newport Jazz Festival, so Newport. Newport, I that makes know. total sense. <laughs> well, from the America's Cup, it certainly makes sense. And yeah. the first part of it is Cooper, but I don't know what the yeah. part is. Cooper something. Was Charles, okay, yeah, Cooper, definition of a dialectical, chiefly British past participle of steel. The past part is like it's chiefly British, so yeah, so it's not stolen. No, old. Well, it has to go along with Cooper, so it's Cooper something. Could it be stole? Cooper stole. That's a strange name for a town. Stole. <laughs> Cooper stole. Cooperstown. Uh, Cooperville, Cooper Mint, Cooper. Cooperville is a possibility. I don't know. Ville is mm. part of brought from steel. Mm. Uh, Cooper Town. Yeah. Cooper. Dialectical chief. That's Cooper River. Just, America would be stolen. British dialect. Jamestown, Cleveland. So what's the pattern? Newport, Toronto. Boy. What could these possibly have in common, though? I have no idea. That's why I, mean, I feel like we got something wrong. Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, Jamestown, I mean, Cleveland. Jamestown, Cleveland, and Springfield, I think we're pretty sure about. All, yeah, yeah. They all have two syllables. <laughs> Jamestown, Cleveland, well, Toronto, yeah, but Springfield. Toronto's three, and Cooper, what's going to be three? So that, that blows that. Hmm. The only thing I can think of, definition well, Toronto. Of, the definition of, no, it's the definition of dialectical. Chiefly British passport. Oh, there should be like a colon in there. Yeah. 
He he didn't put one. But yeah. Yeah. Cooper's mill? Yeah. No. Cooper Cave, Cooper Town. Well, with steel, I would think stole, stolen, stealer. Past participle of steel. I don't even know what that means. It means like stole, stole. But what could these possibly have in common? Stole. Is it something sports or song? Copper stole. Copper stole? Is there anything named copper stole? Copper stole? It's not copper, it's Cooper. Cooper. Oh, Cooper stole? Cooper. Well, there's Cooperstown. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, this is, this is definitely like British <laughs> slang term. It's not, like you would have said English otherwise. Yeah. yeah. So, it's, so it's going to be something that we associate uh, with. And it's, a, and it's dialectical, so it's not... What does that mean? Standard. It's not standard. Uh, meaning, meaning, you wouldn't use this word. Almost certainly not. And neither would just about anybody in this room. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you're speaking standard British English. So the reason I'm like thinking vi villain, vil. Yeah. As part of simple steel, Cooper Bill. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'd buy that. I'd believe it. Cooper'sville. I don't. Yeah. I can't imagine what these cities have in common. Yeah, like just. Even just like Springfield, Jamestown, Cleveland. I was trying to think on a map, was there a route that they all could be on, you know, like they're all on route something or other, but there's no logical thing here that I can find in my head. And they're not even all American, if it's Toronto. Town, land. Port. Yeah, I was wondering if there was something field. there. God, it's field. So well, I mean, look at it. There's field, a town, a land, a port, Newport, and a ville. Yeah. So Toronto's probably wrong. Toronto might be wrong then. Um, I don't well, know who I'm, Aubrey Drake Graham is. That's Drake. The singer. Oh. Okay. Well, the the CN Tower would be Toronto. I was thinking of Seattle because of the 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 needle. I was thinking Space Needle's not that tall. Not that tall. The not the tall. Space Needle's quite short, actually. Well, if so, we're so. saying that because they all have town, port, land, field, mm -hmm. can we think of a it's place? Not, that what is Toronto? How tall is the Sears Tower? It's not a tower. It's a building, isn't it? No, they call it. Yeah, they call it the. It's the. They changed the name, but then we still call it. It was the tower. tallest building in the United States until uh, Asia took it over. Yeah. I can't even remember the proper name now. We just, it's like, yeah, it's the Sears Tower. Don't worry about it. I mean, it might have been, it might be called the Batman Building now because it might not. Oh, be could number Sears five Tower. be Margaritaville? Oh. No. No, no that's a no, different it, singer. Yeah, no, this was a, well, it was like a. Say who the lyric, who, who it, it was a, it was a story. The, I'm pretty sure it's the taxi, the, the Harry Chapin song. It was called Taxi. And it's mm -hmm. a story about he's a taxi driver and he picks up this lady and they get talking. They realize that they were they're an old flame and their lives kind of both went to crap. Mm -hmm. She's you know married for money and it wasn't a margarita bill. No. no. But that would fit Margaritaville. I want to say I want to say Frisco or something like that. But that's not the 
San Francisco? No. Yeah, no. Well, but, yeah. But in the song, it would be Frisco. Nobody in San Francisco ever calls. Yeah, but that's. Frisco. I know. I know that. We know that. That's why he's. I, he said he felt like he started to like gag when he <laughs> Bob when he was saying that like, like he stuff. knew that that it was the improper it could, name. It could city. be Frisco because of the because of the apostrophe. The apostrophe was in the paste. Okay, okay. but it doesn't fit okay. with the oh with the other oh the apo oh because it might be a shortened name. Okay, Frisco fits, but it doesn't make, but it doesn't fit with the other. Yeah, um, I don't know what they have in common though. That. What other boy? This is. I really like this his cartoon catchphrases category. <laughs> Miller's, Miller's, um, McKinley's Tomb and Library. Like for nine, if we could figure out if it's Cooper's <laughs> town, I, I just feel like baseball. How about for the Ohio one for number four, Cleveland? Well, we have Cleveland for number, number three, three so it'd be weird that it comes up a second yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because. But I mean, yeah, it, I, I mean, look, you might be right. That, that also it could be. It, I think it's a smaller town because if if I'm pretty sure I visited it. There's several presidents from Ohio, and I I love presidential homes and mm. libraries and stuff like that. And I think I went here, and it was a town near um, Cleveland because that's where I was at. So it was like I'm Madison or. Um, a smaller town, sort of in Cle near Cleveland, and it was like not Madison. It was just some town. You didn't really think about it. It was, you know, it have a, an, a land or a town or a port. It could easily have been. I mean, they probably had five thousand residents. It wasn't like something that stood out. It was we were visiting that area, and so we just kind of went to all the different sites and it might have been, I don't know, but it'd be a place I've been to. So if you wanted to put Cleveland just because we have nothing else, I don't know, but I think it's- Well, I think it's smaller than that. Well, we're sure Garfield was in, Wait, was in Cleveland. I don't know. Toledo, Toledo and Cincinnati. Yeah, either. no, the but Family Guy, spin off of Family Guy, it is Cleveland. That is, yeah. Uh, yeah. That uh, like sure. three. I'm like one, two, and three. I'm pretty yeah, they're, sure yeah, on they're, it. I think. I think most people are. I'd be very sure surprised. And seven if, is if, definitely Newport. If, and I'm I'm pretty certain about Toronto just because Jake's uh, Drake's from there. Could it be from a town that's very close to Toronto, like an outside town near it? Well, no, it wouldn't have that, that tall sense. tower yeah. that tall yeah, you're right. wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, it wouldn't be. Yeah, you're right. Unless it was the biggest ball of string or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tower of string. Tower of terror. Um, okay, so going to number six, could the Batman building be, be like the... Um, Are they all? It wouldn't all be in these, New York, right? Are all these towns on rivers or or bodies of water or something? Well, Cleveland's on a river. Most, most, that's most a, towns, Jamestown is yeah. on a river. That's oh, most, towns, yeah, most towns need to Frisco's be. Frisco's on the water. Is Toronto but like on that, water? But that doesn't sound, that's not, most cities are next to a body of water. Most cities yeah. in general. Large cities, yeah. Yeah, well, but if that's something you need a water German, yep. I mean, just because it's yeah, not, it, I mean, it, it isn't could. true. Yeah, but it's like asking that. what the above cities have in common. It's like, oh, yeah, well, they're all cities. <laughs> like, I love the you know, <laughs> yeah. they all, all have North more than 100,000 people. <laughs> um, I don't North know. America. Like, you know, like, I, I, I feel like this paper. that would be they're weird. They're all in this trivia category. That's what they have in common. Yeah. No, um, I, I mean, I feel like 
I feel like, I don't know, with, with the different categories that Kevin generally does in the past, I would say it might be music related. Mm -hmm. Like it might oh. be related to a famous tour or a famous, you know, I don't or, see it. or something like um, that. I don't see it either. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I, I think for like Ricky Springfield has has Billy Joel sang in any all of these places or something. Cleveland rocks. Billy Joel slept here. Yeah, I mean, it could be. These are all cities with famous, you know, with famous music festivals. Frisco is jazz. The Newport Island Jazz Island. Festival. Yeah, Newport Jazz oh, Festival. That's, that's Toronto, a good stab. Cooperville, Cleveland. Wait, didn't uh, didn't somebody say the Batman Buildings in Tennessee? Is this Nashville? Yes, Nashville. yes, I think so. I think Which, so. I'm if this is the... if these are all famous music festivals, then Nashville fits because that's where the yeah. blues festival happens, isn't it? Okay. Well, if that's true, then Monterey had a festival. Of giant blues, uh, giant ja uh, Jimmy Hendrix. Well, this is this was only ten questions, not eleven, so he couldn't fit Monterey in there, Susan. Is Jamestown <laughs> one? They had a festival there. You know what? Um, I don't think that's where I don't think that's where Lucille Ball was born. You're sure two is correct. What was the name? What was the, for the oldest? The first permanent English settlement. It yeah. wasn't permanent. It, it's gone. Didn't it go? No, it's still there. You're thinking Roanoke. No. Yeah, Roanoke Colony. Yeah, I just don't famous. think that was where Lucille Ball was born, but I don't know where it was she was born, but I don't think it was it because I know we had it for a category and I'm sure I asked that question. And Jamestown doesn't like, sound I, I can't. Like, I don't remember where Woodstock happened either. Oh, Woodstock um, was in New York. New York. Woodstock. Oh, was it? Um, yeah, Woodstock, New York. Um, yeah. Oh, it was near, yeah. Woodstock. Okay, so put down that it's music festivals for number 10. Yeah, that's what I did. All locations of famous okay. music festivals. We're done? Or I should say, well, well, yeah. Well, we don't well, have nine. No, no. Or we have something for nine, but we don't. No, we're not. Okay, sure. so one of the groups is already back, so we should be coming right. back now. What's another? All right, if it's a music festival, what's another town that uh, has a Yeah, music like festival? we don't have one for four. We actually don't have an answer for four. Name a music festival in Ohio. Name a city in Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> Mason. Mason. Columbus. Put Columbus. I don't, I don't okay. know. Not far but from I don't think it's you said it was somewhere near Cleveland. I thought it was near Cleveland. Yeah. We got 30 seconds. Yeah. Speaking of dead presidents, God, that sounds like he's trying to give us a hint. Wasn't there a music group called Dead Presidents? Well, yeah. Dead Kennedys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I think I missed this part of the conversation, Susan, but I have a I have a topic ready whenever. Do you, you have know, a bonus? I have a bonus. Not well, I know it's another like history category. So Jeff, I, I can put you down for bonus next week. I, I remember you, put, you threw a Hamilton question okay. in there. I remember that. Jeff? I did a Broadway category that had a oh, okay, that was it. Jeff? Jeffrey. You, you could do it in the heights category. Sorry, I said I said yes, but was muted. Okay, all Sounds right. Good. So bonus. So next week is Robin, Rob, Mike, Gail, and Jeff is doing bonus. And I have Kelly for the following week. All right, Susan. Yes. I'm throwing my hat in. I'll do it. Next, the following week. Yeah. That's, Yay! That's uh. I, I figure if if I throw myself out there, then it'll you know force me to force you to work hey, something. Hey. <laughs> So that's going to be um, July 1st. OK. OK. So James did it last yeah. time. He threw himself into the thing. I, I know at least one group got the category, which I thought was pretty cool. 
It took us a while. We went through several. So Let's see what people got. Okay, we all here back. Ready? Go. Is, the everybody, is everybody here? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The answer for number one is Springfield. Mm -hmm. The answer for number two is Jamestown. Mm -hmm. The answer for number three is Cleveland. Mm -hmm. The answer for number four is Canton. Mm. The, answer, oh! the answer for number five, people were put in Philly. It's not. It was raining hard in Frisco. Yay! One more fair to make my night. The lady up ahead waved the flag. Now, Harry Chapin, the song is Taxi. We got it. We got but it. The answer is Frisco. Job, Remember, the answer is Frisco, not San Francisco. The answer is Frisco. Yeah, I got it. Why in a minute? Uh, number six is Rob would have known this one Nashville. We got it. Yes. Number seven is Newport, Newport, Rhode Island. Number eight is Toronto. Uh, mm -hmm. The first part of number nine is Cooper, and the second part is Stown, as in Cooperstown. Cooperstown. Okay. And what is the theme? It's all musical festivals. No. No. Hall of Fame. Hall, Hall of Fame. fame. Springfield. Oh, Springfield is the basketball Hall of Fame. James oh, Hall, comedy Hall of Fame. I was thinking of Cooperstown, if we could get that in, uh, in Cleveland. Yep. What other Hall of Fame? is the Comedy Hall of Fame. Cleveland Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Canton, Ohio, the Football Hall of Fame. Frisco, Texas, the Soccer Hall of Fame. <laughs> Nashville, Tennessee, Country Music Hall of Fame. Newport, Rhode Island, the Tennis Hall of Fame. Toronto, Canada, the Hockey Hall of Fame, and of course, Cooperstown, New York, the Baseball Hall of Fame. My thing thought it was a Billy Joel thing. Billy Joel has been in concert. Yeah, yeah, we were Karen. Karen, we said we said Billy, where Billy Joel had slept. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Joel slept here. He's a little sign. You know what? It's Canton, Ohio. I told you guys I'd been here and I'd been to McKinley's house and I could not think of what it was. Sorry, sorry. And that's where the Hall of Fame is. If you would have got that, someone would have said the Hall of Fame is in Canton, Ohio. I, I I knew it'd been there, but I said it was just some town that was like, you just go to the see McKinley's place. You don't, it's not an important town. You don't really think about it. That was clever. Very clever. Very clever. It took clever. me a while to come up with Frisco. <laughs> Frisco, Texas. What's it? I Texas? needed 10 it's Hall of Fame. Uh, football? That's the Soccer Hall of Fame, believe it or not. In Texas? In Frisco, Texas. It's in a stadium, like some sports stadium. They have the Soccer Hall of Fame. That's the I don't know where it was. The okay. American Soccer Hall of Fame. You say so. Yes. Yeah, otherwise it would have been called the Football Hall of Fame. And that's in Canton. <laughs> I remember, I well, remember true, huh? the I remember the song Taxi and Frisco was it's like I don't know. I Bob, Bob knew it. Time, he but... was going back and forth. And then when somebody pointed out <laughs> that there's a little apostrophe in the sentence, he goes, that could be Frisco. Does it still count yeah. if we thought that the song was by Jim Croce? doesn't matter who it was by. as long as you go Frisco. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told okay. you there's Harry no Chapin. difference between those two guys. Let's do Harry our Chapin. scores. It's so, Blue Origin to Uranus with Be Bezos Prime Package. Seven, seven. Five. Five. Oh, frankly, we did win this game, right, Yoshi? I keep wanting to see Yoshi. <laughs> she went to bed. I think we Five. had six. Six? We six. Yeah. She went to bed. Well, good for her. Um, I thought it was a him. No, it's a she. Oh. Her pronouns are she and her. Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> Vax to the max and on track to relax. Eight. Ooh. Okay, here's the other, the two that were in the lead. We didn't take our meds. Seven. Uh -huh. Rudy's lost law license legacy. Nine. Nine. Uh, well, they just, that, that just put you in the edge there. Super what did you even know there was a hockey call of fame in Toronto? For some reason, I was fixated on American cities only. There we go. Oh, so you the, the Toronto one got you, huh? Yeah. yeah. We were thinking about that too, but we my we first went thought was Toronto and go, oh no, these are all American cities. You guys right. can see that? Yeah, we, we debated that, but we went yeah. with we stuck with Toronto. We just didn't see the 
the bonus. We didn't either. Okay, good job. Good job, Kevin. Uh, that was clever. Yeah, that go. was a good one. Good job, Kevin. Yeah. Flash. Very pleasant category. Why, why did it disappear? We went back and forth on what they all had in common, and boy, we because we were like, a lot of them have town or ville or port. Yeah, that's what we that's, a lot of people said that. And yeah, I, I thought I got the category say, pretty early. You yeah, got the category early. Well, if you knew Cooperstown, that gives it away. Pretty much. Well, well yeah, yeah, I mean, that was the other one. Really no, oh. I didn't. I knew Cooperstown, but I didn't really remember any of the other ones. Well, I knew Cooperstown. What, what dialect are you getting the stown from? Is that like Cockney or something? <laughs> I looked it up. I looked up the word S town on oh. Google and found the definition, and that's what it said. I, I've never heard that word. It's an obscure one. Yeah, yeah. that's why it's here. All right, Adrian, you are up, girl. I am up. We and haven't had an Adrian category in a while. And it better damn well not be Calgary mess restaurants. Because remember, I'm okay. a team. It's actually Calgary's worst restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> did you, My favorite. Did you try, try Adrian's the kitchen. Adrian's kitchen. <laughs> yeah, Adrian's kitchen. <laughs> My Adrian's barbecue backgrounds. Bill. What are my backgrounds been? It Richard, is very pretty. Richard, Richard. Is it, are you <laughs> sitting outside? Or you're not sitting outside, are you? What's that? Yeah, I'm outside. No, you're this not. Is, this is going to give you a little hint. I'm doing the Rob thing with the hint for the for what my category is. So I have been taking a, an online course. Well, it's not really a course. A series of lectures in Canada by this guy named Dr. Bird who's an ornithologist. And yes, it is his real name. It's Dr. David Bird. And so because I've been taking this course, that's my theme for tonight. We're going to do birds. Birds. <laughs> Robin. No. Everyone's muted, but me now. All right. So the first uh, question is, Many automobiles have been named after birds. Which of the following is or was not the name of an automobile? And so you have to guess out of this list, A, Roadrunner, B, Finch, C, Signet, D, Owl, E, Golden Hawk, F, Robin, and G, Black Crow. All of those have been the names of an automobile, either now or in the past. And one of them is one I made up. Number two is, let me just make sure the numbers are going in. Yes, they are. So in 2015, we're going to do some Canada questions tonight. Get ready. So in 2015, Canada voted for a national bird. This songbird is known to be bold at picnic sites and is known as the camp robber. When I was camping as a youngster before I knew better, I would hold my hand out with a piece of bread on it and these birds would land on my hand and enjoy their snack. What bird was voted to be and is unofficially considered Canada's national bird? Canada, eh? <laughs> yep. And uh, there's gonna be another Canada one too. So the next one is in American folklore. The gilly goo bird is said to A, carry off cattle and horses for food. B, have the head of a woman and the body of a bird. C, have the ability to absorb disease from a sick person. Or D, lay square eggs so they won't roll down the hillside they are laid on. Next, a group of geese on the ground are called a gaggle, but when they're in the air, they're called something else. So according to Wikipedia, the group has four names when in flight. Name one of the names given in Wikipedia. Number five, this legendary creature is considered a supernatural being of power and strength and is most often depicted in art, songs, and oral histories in the Pacific Northwest. 
There's a famous house post or totem pole in Stanley Park in Vancouver, British Columbia that depicts this creature. The University of British Columbia uses this creature as its mascot. What is the name of this creature? Number six, the world's oldest known wild bird, a Laysan albatross, had a chick at what age in 2020? Plus or minus three years based on when the bird was bandaged. So it actually may be older, they're not 100% sure, but based on from the time it was banded until now. And I learned that tonight in my bird class. From Mr. Bird? <laughs> from Mr. Bird, yes. <laughs> All right, number seven, which of the following is, is true for the snowy owl? A, the female has on average a wider wingspan than the males. B, the snowy owl is not seen in fields surrounding Calgary where I live. C, the snowy owl hunts mostly at night. D, the snowy owl changes the color of their plumage with the seasons. And E, the snowy owl lays an average clutch of between two and four eggs. And I'll put that in the... that works yeah okay number eight i like this one in daphne du maurier's the birds later adapted into the 1963 film by alfred hitchcock birds grow hostile and start attacking humans du maurier's inspiration for the story was the sight of a farmer being attacked by a flock of these birds as he plowed a field what type of bird did she see attacking the farmer Number nine, this critically endangered large flightless nocturnal bird is also known as the owl parrot. It is endemic to New Zealand. What is the name of this bird? And to finish off number 10, another Canadian one. Each province in Canada has a provincial bird. In Alberta, where I live, it is a large bird that has a primary diet of rabbits, hares, mice, and voles. This bird lays its eggs weeks or months earlier than other birds of its kind. They tend to be sedentary and utilize a single territory throughout their mature lives. What is Alberta's provincial bird? Good luck, team. <laughs> <laughs> I like your uh, British spellings of plowed. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 it's Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's always hard for me in Wikipedia, you know, taking the U's out of things for most of the articles and not uh -huh. doing RE for center and theater and. <laughs> are there any questions hopefully it's pretty clear this is an amazing cat this is an amazing category i loved it so this much categories for the birds <laughs> adrian on number seven um i'm assuming that only one of those is true and the rest are false all the rest are false that is correct okay yeah one's true the rest are false i think you got a lot of birds, birds in this group. they're going to be very happy I think so. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think we it's self-explanatory. We expect mm -hmm. all tens. Are these easy? I'm supposed to say easy now. Yeah. You can know the answers are easy. <laughs> so, I wouldn't have known them all. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to your category. I'm going to your room. Good luck, Susan. Yeah, you need it. <laughs> uh, uh, frankly, okay, Yoshi's room. That's where I'm going.
And but we have Susan. Yay. Hey, yeah. Such help. <laughs> <laughs> Who's like bird are in this group? Okay. Well, we know Kyle's got the bird stuff. Yeah, Kyle, you're muted. <laughs> He's like, yeah, got it. Are you I'm some help, but I know nothing about cars. Okay, so we've got Roadrunner is a car, for sure. A finch? Signet, Signet is a car. How about a finch? Robin doesn't sound much like a car name. Neither Robin or owl. Black Crow. How would any, why would anybody name a car owl? Well, American, it may not be an American thing. Oh, Other countries yeah. are more not so picky about having aggressive names for cars. Oh, that's true. You don't think they've been in another language, would you? Like they use I mean, the yeah, Nissan, used to have, Nissan used to have a car called the Bluebird in Sri Lanka. I don't think you would call a car Bluebird here. Hmm. Um, yeah, there have been some pretty goofy names in some places too. Like Edsel. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was I don't know any of these cards. I I think I have heard of a Roadrunner and I think I've heard of a Signet. Yeah, me too. But I don't think I've heard of these. Any a Robin? They used to, they used to be crow. a hawk. The, the hum, Humber used to make a hawk. I don't know what a golden hawk, but they did make a hawk. Well, which one, if you're a, if you were a marketing guy, which yeah. one would you say, nah, that's that people well, aren't gonna buy that name? It doesn't have to be a successful car. <laughs> <laughs> that's true <laughs> i think a finch sounds like not something you would name something finch i mean that sounds yeah. like, like an I, I don't know I'm, I'm leaning towards the robin or the black crow black crow it's, sounds more like a drink anyway yeah you wouldn't say i'm buying the newest edition of the black crow but you might if it was in a different country like, you know. i'm moving on to question two <laughs> okay, last time um, I should have stuck with my initial guess of Frisco for the song. I know, right? <laughs> you got that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So what are we going to do? Let's uh, put something down for this black crow, maybe. Sure. Okay. Stand on my hand and enjoy this snack. What bird was voted to be? No, okay, now is this a bird is that we know in America? Hmm? Puffins is usually the answer for anything Canadian and bird. <laughs> but a uh, puffin you think of near the water. It's not gonna run up and 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 it's not there, a ain't no, bird. there ain't no there ain't no water in Alberta. So uh so um and bold at picnic sites. So around here but and, it's a songbird. It would be a jaybird right. or a, well no, I was thinking about yeah uh, um yeah magpie magpie maybe magpies are known to be robbers are it's they do they yeah, sing but i'm not sure about the camp robbers. they sing yeah they're beautiful okay well i'm that's fine that sounds good because i was gonna say blue jay but they don't really sing and okay. they're that i i was the blue jay was actually gonna be my answer uh what, what blue jays are aggressive too yeah yeah Magpie sounds good. Gilly goo. Gilly goo bird. Never heard of it. Me neither. Well, it's, 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 it's Canada. Folklore. It's Canada. It's maybe it's a dodo. <laughs> <laughs> so American folklore. The idea that it's being it's folklore, it seems I would it a bird isn't gonna carry off cattle and horses. Well, I don't think that's even neat. in folklore. But yeah. I can see B. Um Sure. I can see That's also. plausible. I'm, I'm going at the head of a woman. I mean, folklore that. has to be something that's fairly plausible. It's not fantasy. Yeah. Folklore. So yeah. the only thing I can think of is C that is fairly. Absorbed fairly, disease from a sick person? Yeah. Yeah, it's the kind of thing that people might believe because carrying off cattle and horses for food, that's, I mean, that's. The big bird. Yeah, that's a really big one. And <laughs> of a woman, yeah. Like who who would care if you were... I think that that's a totally made up. Okay, so C? I think C. Yeah. Okay. So four. Okay, well. 
why would you have two names for a group of these on the on the ground on flight? No, four of them. Now, what's four the different chance, names. What's the chances that the name is a group? <laughs> well, I'm thinking like a flock, but that's like thought of flock, obvious. Yeah. Right. But what's that thing when they're flying in a V formation? Isn't that got a name of its own? A V. <laughs> <laughs> what about gander? That's the that's, that's the, the that's just a male goose. Yeah. Okay. Um, Kyle, I'm really disappointed. You are supposed to know all these. They're all bird related. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Where's Yoshi? Wake Yoshi up again. <laughs> you don't want to wake up a bird that's gone to bed. She won't oh. be happy. Oh, it's a flock and move on. All right. Um, five. <sighs> Maybe this is the puffin. <laughs> Four names. Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Thunders. Oh. Oh. oh, 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 It is. Uh, I believe it is Thunderbird because the the uh, the uh, we I, I stayed at the UBC one one summer and we used to play hockey in Thunderbird Arena. So uh -huh. I I'm thinking that it might be a Thunderbird. Okay. Yeah, and I can picture them on a on a totem pole. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow. What does it look like? Is it some sort of like eagle or hawk or something? I, yeah, I think so. Okay, so world. Okay, the Laysan Al albatross. It was some incredible age. I heard this. It was like fifty something, I think. Yeah, Anybody lifespans else? go into the eighties. So yeah, they get old. I've been to Vancouver, British Columbia. It's beautiful. I've seen that these totem with poles. Albatross. I've seen all <laughs> these totem poles. They're really neat. No idea. Well, we moved on to six already. Oh, have you ready? I'm sorry. Yeah. I was... <laughs> oh, we, we, we came up Could with it been uh, Albatross on number five. Yeah, no, no. Thunderbird. <laughs> we think it's Thunderbird. Oh, wait, you said Thunderbird for five? Yeah. I thought you said Thunderbird for four. No, that was Flock. Flock, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm catching up. <laughs> Have another brownie, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with the brownies. I think what I'm kind of brownie, brownie was it? Yeah, what kind of regular brownie? <laughs> I'm in a brownie stupor. Oh, fair. World's well. oldest known wild bird. So that's a it's an albatross, and it had a chick. I wrote down fifty three, but I don't know why. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Reasonable. Might be even older, but wait. The world's oldest known wild bird had a chick at what age? How do we know? Oh, they oh they put a tag on the mom. Yeah, and it was announced. It was like in the news. And then yeah. it had the egg, it had the chick at 22. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay. 53 is as good as anything. Which is true for the fall for the fall snowy owl. I know that some raptors, like hawks, the females are generally bigger than the males. So if owls follow that, it would make sense that the women the females wingspan would be bigger than the males that or d i'm i'm thinking the the uh hunting at night but i think that's generally with that's the general. owls isn't it owls yeah. owls oh, usually wow. hunt at night yeah. yeah yeah so changing the color of their plumage with the i don't think so um there's a be different than the other owls we saw an, a, a white colored owl in the park a few weeks ago I don't know if it was a snowy owl, but it was white. And I think I mentioned it to somebody and they said, oh yeah, they hunt in the daytime. <laughs> um, but they, of course, the, yeah. And I think owl, I don't know about snowy owls again, but I know that the, um, the barn owls lay more like five to 10 eggs. But I don't, like, yeah, I don't know. If and they're squares so that they don't roll down the hill. Right. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> right. Well, and, you know, what happens too is that the, they're, they hatch over, they don't all hatch at once, of course. They hatch over a period of days and they grow so fast that by the time the later ones are born, they're basically prey for the other ones. It's pretty horrible. So what are we going for? Seven. I have no idea. Not sure. 
maybe the egg one. Yeah. Okay. So you e. think E? Yeah. Okay. I'm voting for A, but we'll do E. I have no preference. <laughs> okay, number eight. This is hard because I think it's I think it was crows. Yeah, crows was my no, guess it was crows. too. It was crows in the movie. Yeah, but that makes sense. That I mean, how many birds would attack a farmer in a field? And crow, um, I have been I have been attacked by a barn swallow. Well, <laughs> yeah. and well, but what did you say to it? <laughs> Actually, I don't know, um, but I wish I had a tennis racket at that particular like time. Like blackbirds, like starlings and stuff will do that too. Don't magpies and um, there's others around here that you, if it's nesting season, they'll just get. Yeah, it's those blackbirds. Those are stupid blackbirds. Yeah, but crows have been known to gang up and they remember when people have attacked another crow or done something bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They will gang up on you and attack you as a group. Yeah. Right? I guess that's why you have scarecrows in the fields. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Well, Crow the, is a great answer. The only question is if that author happened to pick something else. Crow certainly fits. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I know that in the in the in the movie, and I assume the book, the birds that came in first, the birds that started everything, she went, he went and got lovebirds in a cage, and he was gonna give it to his his um somebody his mm. child i thought and they brought him in the house and there was these two little lovebirds in a cage and they never did describe why what that had to do with anything lovebirds are nasty i don't know anything about them but <laughs> they seem to have a nice name they're not they're, unless they hand raise them i think they're Quickly not friendly at all. large flightless nocturnal bird is also known as right. oh emu that's a kiwi mm. that's a kiwi huh Nine is definitely. Oh, yeah. Eight. Nocturnal bird is also known as Alper. Yeah, you're right. It's the McTeesh Prime. I never did get to see one when I was there. It was always. We so went into a room to see them, and it was so black you couldn't see anything. It's a large bird that's sedentary, but it, it catches rabbits. How sedentary could it be? I mean, rabbit, I, rabbit comes by? I can't catch a rabbit. They tend to be sedentary. Yeah. Yeah. I guess except when they're hungry, maybe. <laughs> Mano, did you say it is a kiwi? Nine is a kiwi. Yeah, it's kiwi. Um, I think, uh, is it a big bird, the kiwi? No, no. Kiwi is a no. small bird. It's flightless and it's nocturnal. Oh, okay. I, I don't know that it's called an owl parrot, but it is endangered. Oh, it's large. It's just large. Huh. Kiwi. I don't think they're that little, are they? What? Well, I'm not sure what we mean by little. They're not kiwi? tiny. It's it's like this, right? So would you call that large? I thought they're not an sort of little. I thought they're sort of round and green. I just and I used to have all the birds right here. I was making all sorts of. Oh they're, yeah, right. They're you round, are. but they're brown. Uh, uh, Adrian, well, yeah. it could be the. I can't cheat and look, which is right there on the other oh. side of my screen. Kiwis are green. No, oh, not green. It is a. Um, Kokomo. I think, I think nine is probably uh, uh, kiwi. I think large, it probably depends on how you define large. It is flightless and it's nocturnal. And it's the only bird in New and Zealand. It's endemic to New yeah, Zealand. it is flightless and it is nocturnal. And it's endemic to New Zealand. And it is New Zealand, but I was thinking of a bird that looks like a parrot and I just crossed it a few months ago and it's I don't know if it's flightless or not because I cross stitched it. I don't know, but it looks which like is the one, which is the one that grows moss all over its body. Mm. Keep, go. <laughs> Fan tail. All right. I have no help. Um, how's everybody doing, Adrian? Are they almost done? I, most people are on like number nine, like you guys are. Okay. So I'll give you a couple more minutes, I guess. Yeah, okay. What about emus? That's emus. Emus are flightless. They're large. Are they nocturnal? I don't know if they're nocturnal. And they sell insurance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right. I wouldn't have the thought of it as an owl parrot, though. It might be a good choice. It's larger than the kiwi. Yeah. Is uh, is an emu? Was that what part of the world an emu emu is? Yeah, I think so. I mean, because I don't know a thing about the kiwi except that it's like what the New Zealand's national bird or whatever. Right. You know. There's one. No. But they're bigger. They're. I have another one over here. It's about this big. It's a chick. Not but do big. they fly? Do kiwis no. fly? No. They don't. No. no. Wow. Okay. Um, these cows are the large bird and the primary diet of rabbits. So it's if it's catching, I'm, I'm on 10. If it's catching rabbits and hares and mice and bulls, it's I'm thinking I mean, it's like a hawk. Yeah, some kind yeah, of hawk. Eagle. Condor. Condor, no, yeah. They don't really hunt. I don't think they have them in Canada either. They have them in South America and California yeah, and California Utah. <laughs> Hawks are not sedentary, are they? Are no, not. that's the thing. Are not are what? Sedentary. Sedentary. Yeah. I mean, oh, you know, they're not they're not like hummingbirds. They're not like constantly flying around, but but they're they hunt. Um Single Are we sure though. it's a hunter? Could it be a carrion animal? Like a vulture? Yeah. Oh. Oh, maybe. But if it's, you know, it's if it's a if it's a vulture of some kind, so it would eat anything. It would eat Yeah, fair point. You know, I mean anything that was dead. Um lays it. Um, could it be an owl? Well, I'm trying to think. I mean, yeah, you could catch mice and bulls. It's also it's a north. It's got to be a northern a nor. You know, it's got to be a cold weather animal too. Right, but I mean, I don't think they're going to find rabbits at night. Mice and bulls, yeah. I don't know about hares. I don't know what they're. <laughs> they're I mean, they're like rabbits, but I don't know if they have the same habits. Single territory in that. That makes sense. I guess my sedentary, maybe like, like some uh, raptors, like ospreys, migrate, so that you wouldn't call but them. Is an osprey sedentary. also more? Uh, how you find around water? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, but I'm just saying they're a raptor, but they are. You wouldn't call them sedentary because they 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 go from they don't they don't stay in one territory. They have like basically have two territories, I guess. That's why maybe an owl might be. Right, except they're nocturnal, and these things that it's eating don't seem to necessarily be. Yeah, all but that's what they, that's the kind of stuff they feed on. Right, but I, don't, I just don't think there's rabbits out at night. <laughs> I don't know. You haven't been. You haven't been in my front yard in the middle of the night. Oh, that, that's true. <laughs> that I get right. There are rabbits all the time. Are there? Okay. Yes. <laughs> So well, they're me, very well could be then. I don't let's know. Decide on something. We're running out of time. I think it's an. It might be an owl. Okay. okay. Let's go now. We'll go with owl. Have we got uh, answers for all ten? I think so. I don't remember ever seeing any birds in Alberta, but that's that's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was in, I was in Edmonton. What there's, do you want? There's one right there. There's <laughs> a little. There's a little finch right there by Adrian. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. A children's book only for adorable children, or is it an adorable book for children? All children are adorable, so it doesn't oh, okay. matter. There you go. What what did you say? <laughs> All children are adorable to me because I get to hang out with them for the day and then send them back to their parents. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's the I think you muted, Susan. Other people's it, kids. No, that is 100% correct. As somebody who's run D&D campaigns for children, it is so Ooh. nice to be able to turn them in at the end of the session. Yes, Ooh. other people's kids and other people's pets are my favorite. Oh, yeah. Richard. Richard, you, you should change your name to Susan Gerbeck and really mess with people. <laughs> I got it, Richard. I'll change it for you. <laughs> Oh man, you guys are weird. 
See, right. here's the here's the right. parrot I was talking about. That's a New Zealand bird. Here's a kiwi. Susie Gerbic, real. <laughs> we'll check back. Here's a kiwi. See? Susan, what's happening to your screen? It's Richard. Oh, well, you're oh, a big one. I want to know the real one. Yeah. Yeah. Real. <laughs> All right, I See, doesn't that look like a does that look like a parrot? Susan, what is that? Oh, wasn't that in your office? You're being yeah, from my office. I remember you're that. Staged by Susan too. <laughs> yeah, I can only see <laughs> Susan on my other Susan on my screen. <laughs> Susan too, electric boogaloo. Real Susan on your screen. <laughs> I don't, I don't think look, look at this one. Isn't this the cutest thing in the world? <laughs> That's really cute, Susan. And look at this. It's called a fantail. Isn't that fantail beautiful? Did you make those? Yeah, I cross stitched them. Those are really kit. good. But I mean, I have, I can cross stitch. It's not. Those, hard. They're really good. I but, like they're them. but these are all New Zealand birds. See, the those key? are cute. But this is what I'm thinking, but I can't even think what the damn name of the bird is. Mm. I can't see oh, okay. it well. No. I know what the bird is. Oh, because I have that's a the bird. We 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 got that bird's name. That's Susan. really it, that's name really cute. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I thought that I was what it. she's talking about. And so, but this is what we ended up putting. I think. Um, oh, a kiwi. <laughs> All right, is everyone ready? Yeah, the but I didn't one. look at those because I was they were on. I I, I didn't yeah. look. So the first one, there's lots of discussion. It was really fun. And uh, I'm just going to run through a couple of them right now because people were talking about them. The last one, the Black Crow, was actually the Crow Car Company, 1909 to 1911. So <laughs> they actually did exist. And one of their models was called the Black Crow. And the Robin actually is a Reliant, and it's a three-wheeled vehicle. And it was around from the 1970s to the 2000s, mostly, I think, in Europe. And Mr. Bean always makes them roll over. That's right. <laughs> Does he really ride a Robin? No, he, I, he drives the Mini. I, always, I thought it was always Good a old Mr. B. car. <laughs> but he make, he make the Robin swerve to avoid him, and it always flips over. And the, yes, uh, the Golden Hawk is a Studebaker from 1956 to 1958. The Owl is actually something that's out now. It's called the Aspark Owl, and it's that an all-electric, all battery-powered sports car. You should look it up. It's amazing. And it's, it just started uh, production in 2020. And the Signet was an Aston Martin from 2011 to 2013. Uh. And the Finch, which is right here, is my made up one. Do you know how hard it was I for me? We I had that for nine I hours. told my group. We had Finch till the very end. I apologize, Faye. No. I apologize. <laughs> I no. told my group that the Finch made Robin. no sense. Faith had, Faith knew <laughs> it, and I talked her out of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Robin, you owe, you owe Faith. Oh, I did the same. You, you've yeah. been telling me that every round. Washington. 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 All right, so there's the, I, that one. I won't say so anything. For the next one, for number two, is, uh, I don't know how many people would have got this one. It is either the Canada J, the Grey J, or the Whiskey Jack. Oh. A, Isabella. No this way is she knew that. <laughs> well, we're no Jay. way. Good and job. It Isabella did called. not know that. What about it's Blue Jay? No, different. Just totally Jay. different. Gray Jay. You just put oh, Jay. Jay. Hey, um, did Isabella you know, really have that? Well, I'm sorry. I wasn't Why listening. would we make that up? Yes, she did. <laughs> She Which totally one? did. The, 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 the Kakapu one? Which yeah, Kakapu. Oh, the Gray J. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was in a book, a bird book. For a while, I was really, really into birds. She reads like okay, Susan. <laughs> it's not so much she reads, but she it remembers what she book. reads. You'd be surprised the stuff that I know. No, I'm not Darn. surprised. It's just constantly. Oh, okay, I am surprised. And remember, Isabella has the youngest brain cells of anyone. I was in really into birds, so they work bit. better. And not only that, but the great. She has the Google chip in her head. <laughs> yeah. She got, it from, she got it from whenever she got. I thought that sort of the Western U.S. people might get that because it got laid out into that habitat. But well, if my you... mom really likes birds, I and mean, you're spending a lot of time with robins. Maybe it's rubbed off on me, my bird obsession. I don't know <laughs> that a lot of us get gray jays. We get common jays. I think California Blue jays. Rub jays. Mocking yeah. jays. 
There's yeah. lots of jays and and uh, stellar's jays. Yeah, yeah. Stellar's jays. Just get yeah. morning doves and finches. And I love hearing the morning doves in the morning. It's so peaceful. I like <laughs> it better in the afternoon. All right, let's get on to number three. More my morning in, doves in the afternoon. In American folklore, I saw some people talking themselves out of this one, and some people getting it. It is D. They lay square eggs so they don't oh. go around the hill. Oh, oh no! Yay! Well, sorry, Mike. I told you. <laughs> I'm so happy there was. Mike so told there. us <laughs> my team is not getting out of last place. Not happening. I don't do? know. My team. Didn't I don't know. So We're well. racing you Thank to the you, bottom. Robin. Robin. We're racing you to the bottom. For number We're right four, there. The group of geese in the air. They can be called a skein, a team, a wedge, or if hey. they're flying close together, a plump. We definitely are <laughs> racing. To, we're up there with the. We haven't got one yet. Wedge oh. was the word I was trying to think. I of. don't like to hear that, Susan. What about a flock of seagulls? You're the one who chose the topic. <laughs> plump sounds like a term a hunter Susan would use. Pick something I know something about. She picks. You know all about birds, Susan. She puts Canadian <laughs> birds. Point. Canadian birds. Thank you. All right, well, some of them are Canadian. The legendary creature is the Thunderbird. I see her yeah. yeah, that. Yeah. 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 Got one. Awesome. I would have kicked myself if I missed that I since I live out. in Seattle. Yes. <laughs> and number also seven. Uh, this one, I think Karen got this one right on. 70 years old. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Yes, Karen. Do we get bonus points? How <laughs> did Karen know that? It was all over hey. the news, you hey, guys. Hey, Susan, yeah, you, you quit this in our a, a thought, Jeff. It's some, I thought everybody would get that. Yeah, it was all over the news. <laughs> Deborah said 53. You know, and anything that is about old broads of any species, <laughs> the odds, what's I think inspiration. What's interesting with the 53 is that the oldest living bird that has died is around the age of 50. It's like 51 years of age, but the old, this one's still living. So it's. <laughs> It's going to really set all kinds of world records. No, she didn't change and the brand for somebody else's. And don't forget, like and that, that French off. lady She's dying, and another bird put it on. Yeah, that French lady that assumed her mother's identity. That's what I'm thinking too. Exactly, exactly. All right. She passed it on. She passed it on when she died. To each new bird, and we're on three three generations. And she's still yeah. having her little babies. band off of her like, leg onto one of her chicks. And she and she had the, 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 the third, the third generation, the grandchild is now having the babies. They're just trying to mess with us. And they still haven't shown the birth certificate. All right, next one. <laughs> Which of the following is true? I, I was actually really pleased that lots of people were discussing this one because I thought it might be too easy, but it is A. The female yeah, has an nice average wingspan. Uh, <laughs> we right, rolled thanks, a dice for that one. Thanks for what your Deborah, <laughs> nice. Deborah called it. Well, how, many years, how many years did you have? Normally? Now we ended up with a different uh, if you, answer. If you, yeah, <laughs> they usually have between seven and nine and up to 16. Wow. They have a lot of eggs. Crap. And I think most people got number eight. And it is seagulls or gulls. Uh, okay. Or no, seabirds or gulls, either one. I wanted to discuss it, but no, they'd already Yay. been gone. We, we, we had you. a 50 50 and we chose correct. We went with the crow inning. Yeah, we, we were thinking either seagull or crow, and luckily uh, we went with seagull. We, good I job, team. The answer of the crow inning. And the last one, or number, sorry, not last one. I can't count, apparently. Yes, thank you, Paula. It is number nine is going to be the cock, I think, kakapo, kakapo. I don't know. When I was trying to remember Kakapo. what it was called. Kakapo. I just posted a funny video in the chat. Yeah, funny video. I think it's the, my first introduction. And that's the kakapo right there, right? That's yeah. right. That's what it looks like. Yeah, they're funny looking things. And the last one. I was calling it kakapo. The Alberta bird. I actually don't know if anybody I heard get it's it. The owl. We had the owl. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if I should give you that one. No. What owl, was? What, no. 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 Jeff has it. What's the name? Wait, What's the name? Jeff, 
Jeff, yes, we did. Yeah. No, that's horned what we had. Owl. I said great Great horned owl. Great owl. Great owl. owl is good. Specifically. Yeah, don't listen. That's to what you. Jeff yes. says. Yep. Owl, owl, They're beautiful owl. birds. Yeah. Good Kevin, job, team. Kevin, did you change to me too? You are a little. Smart. What are you talking about? Washington. <laughs> we said, we guessed great gray <laughs> owl because that's way more Canadian. A. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but great horned owl. Kevin, where are you, Kevin? This is Susan. We have lots of owls here in Alberta. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alberta? <laughs> Uh, in owls in Alberta. Uh, uh, owls in Alberta, <laughs> including the snowy owl, which is seen in fields surrounding Calgary. I don't know how well this category was for for, for my owls, team. But I have a Sorry, feeling team. that Adrian did do a good job for her own team. Number ten. Yeah. A lot of good clues in it. It was it was good for discussion. Yeah, I tried to do that right because if I just said what's the Alberta bird, you'd all go. <laughs> we go who who what's Al what's Alberta? No, what's Alberta? <laughs> what's that? Oh my god, that's not me. Does anyone, does anyone know Alberta's number? We can call her and ask her. <laughs> Eight six seven five three oh one. There you go. Three oh nine. Oh, her sister's three oh one. Geez, Susan, even I know that. It's nine. <laughs> Nye. 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 That looks so Susan, weird. that's that a look lovely like image all. of you. That doesn't look like me at all anymore. All right, so let's get our scores. Oh, no, oh. let's not. Let's not. <laughs> uh, frankly, we did win this game, right, Yoshi? <laughs> we almost had two. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> almost. Oh, that's... <laughs> Almost. So I, so I, how far I did you miss that it? means you got I one or did you get zero it's the, it's the no, we had one. curse has come back we had one <laughs> was that the thunderbird you guys got yes <laughs> the imaginary we bird we talked ourselves out of several wow oh, susan the curse that continues. is not me at all i don't know who that hell that person is so. yeah i don't either what the heck is that she has nice funny. hair Oh, that is not me. That looks like Susan and Britney Spears, like <laughs> mashups. <laughs> it's not me. All right. All right, Blue Origin to Uranus with Bezos Prime Package. Four. Ooh, it's, we're almost in the negative numbers here. That's to the maximum <laughs> track to relax. Nine. Nine. Oh, oh. 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 oh we're in trouble. Oh, oh it made me feel better. I was starting to think, you know, Punch and Judy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's not> <laughs> Only for your team. <laughs> yeah, we didn't take our meds. Six. I want some meds. <laughs> we would do seven if we could have legacy. Jay accepted. Five. Six. Oh, five. Five, that's right. Oh. Wow. Oops, open chat instead of opening screen share. Are you guys what, waiting to see? There's all, this is the only time you get quiet. <sighs> <sighs> Ooh, it's a tie. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. So back to the Max right? really came back. Look at that. We're oh, not in last place. place. We're not okay. in last place. Darned, we stormed into last place. Wow, that's great. <laughs> but Yoshi's team didn't do so well. <laughs> Adrian's team. Susan, don't make fun of them. Yeah. Don't be a meanie. Yeah. And now don't. they did the curse of the. Yeah. Of the Adrian, and themselves remember the this, you guys, when you're writing your own categories, you're, you better remember you're playing that team. Richard. It's okay. We're going to win it in August. Richard, you're on mute. <laughs> on mute. Keep him on mute. All right. So we have, we have our bonus category, which is Robin, who hopefully came up with something. <laughs> I don't think she knew she had a bonus tonight. So this could I be- I have something, something in my back pocket. Oh, well, I hope it isn't- what's Top in 10 Robin's things back, in Nate, Robin's the back 10 pocket. items that are in Robin's back pocket. Lit. <laughs> and and well, now I have another okay. week to, to hone my, my perfect thing for next week. Anyway, okay, so the bonus question is name 10 heads of state and 
it, you know, if 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 the country that you're um, talking about has a president, a prime minister, and a king, any one of those is fine. So and current, you're talking about current? Current, the current head of state, 10 of those. And any any country is fair game, even the one you live in where you know what the head of state is. You are the, the top 10? Not top 10, just <laughs> any 10. Oh, we, we can't so worn down that we're not gonna be able to come up with 10. Can we do like duplicates like no like if if you if 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 one country has a president a prime minister and a king you don't get three points for naming all three well countries a pre oh wait never mind that was a dumb part so we would have to pick one with what is considered head of state got every well, a country. president like a prime minister a king uh, all of them the head of state is normally considered the head of state are, yeah are you accepting head of government and heads of state yeah, no, sure head of that. government is not necessarily the head of state. Well, that's can why I'm be, asking if what she's accepting. Can it be future future reinstated heads of state? <laughs> <laughs> she's allowing or believe beheaded head of state, state or head of government. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Head of government or head of state, or just head of she state? President, king, or prime minister. Yeah. I mean, if if your country, no, if, you, if the country has more than one figurehead that could be called the head of state, then I'll yeah. take either one. So you know, you're uh, not using the very I technical head of state. As some, some countries have a head of government and a separate head of state. Either, yeah, that's either one. Either one. Yeah. Okay. But but you want to get one country, right? You want to get as many countries as you just, can. Just one, one easy, per country. Right, okay. One per okay. country. Yeah. And what if the same also, one is the one for multiple countries? Well, that what? doesn't matter. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're over it. Alert. Well, most, right? most countries have some identifiable head of state. Right. Okay. Yeah. A president, a prime minister, All a right. king. You got it. Okay. Let's go do our 10 of those. Oh. And it's this is also this is a self-grading category. So you you once you come up with your 10, you can Google it or whatever and see how many you got right. You really is put last name sufficient? Oh. Last name is sufficient. That's a funny last name. <laughs> Sufficient. All right. So I'm going to Blue Origin. Easy. Okay. We got this. Yeah. I already got five. They only started. I didn't Everybody's study for this. So I should probably be able to participate. I, no. I, I won't come up with any. <laughs> we'll keep you. <laughs> I know, I know the one from the country that I live in. <laughs> yeah. So everybody should name one. And then Wilma, you're on twice. mute. Oh, Wilma, sorry. The the go. King of Holland is uh, Willem Alexander. Oh, cool. We got Angela Merkel from Germany, Kim Jong-un from North Korea, Queen Elizabeth, Trudeau, Biden. Putin. AMLO is my, uh, president of Mexico. Yeah. Everybody's going to get 10 on this. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> Let's get obscure okay. ones. Yeah, how are you um, going to verify that there? Who's the guy who was just now elected to Iran or where was it? Just like yesterday or something? Who, who else did Netanyahu? Oh, yeah. Who did? Oh, Bennett. Um, Bennett. Who? Bennett. Bennett. Yeah, Naftali Bennett. Yeah. I thought we have a Bennett. We have good old Justin on the list. Yes. Good old. You got to put good old. Good old Justin. Bennett is uh, was born in San Francisco. Did he leave his heart there? Did we have I, not in the rain? Apparently, he left his heart somewhere. <laughs> Who do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, Who's the prime minister? Of oh, how about Australia how about the guy in, in Brazil? Jair Bolsonaro. 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 Oh yeah, New, New Zealand. Zealand. Jacinda. Arden, Arden, Jacinda. Jacinda. Who's who's the prime minister of uh, Australia? He One said Bolsonaro. I don't know the current name. Who did you say, James? Bolsonaro, Brazil. Bolsonaro. Bolsonaro. Yeah. Yeah. 
accent wasn't it Abbott or something at some point in Australia, but that's not yeah. anymore, right? I don't know who Australia is. That, I'm embarrassed. That's not currently. Yeah, it has to be currently. Yeah, am I allowed to participate in this at all? No, you're not. Oh no. You should go to the other room. I don't want to get deducted points for cheating. Oh, you should go to the other room. Should I leave the room? Yeah. Room. It's your one and only chance. Johnson, uh, UK, did we get the UK? Yeah. yeah. Queen Elizabeth. Oh, but Queen we Elizabeth. could use Queen Elizabeth for like the head of state over Australia, too. Well, part of the we've already got 10. <laughs> We're just trying to come up with some harder ones so we don't look technically well. head of state of Canada, then I guess yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. For the well, common. We have a, to oh. go for that for mm -hmm. And technically the head of state is not the prime minister, that's the queen. Who right, is the but head of state of Greenland? Who were we trying uh, to, wasn't there a woman we were trying to buy it off of her? Trump was trying to buy you her You guys off. were, hold on, wait a minute. That's no, ours. Trump, Trump was trying to buy <laughs> Greenland. <laughs> Didn't he want to trade it for Trump Portland is, or something? Trump actually, is Greenland is part of, uh, it's actually, it's part of, isn't it? Oh dear God. Finland? So Greenland is a separate country. Yeah, Green, Greenland is a um, part of Denmark. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Denmark? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's an island between Greenland and Canada that uh, you guys are in a long standing war with Denmark over. Oh, is that where we exchange booze every once in a while? We leave yeah. them booze, they leave and, us booze. That's how yeah, we are. You guys go over there and plant your flag and I'll leave a case of Canadian alcohol. Oh. Yeah. And then take off, and Bottle then rye. sometime later, Denmark comes over and take, plants their flag yeah. and leaves an alcohol for you guys. Is it a big it. place? It's it uninhabited. It's like, oh, it's uninhabited. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, a piece of rock sticking out of the water somewhere or the we ice, really. Well, in Denmark, about it when we go. It's Watch like one of the things that like, it's only about fun, I guess. <laughs> so, what are the countries on our list? We have U.S., Canada, Canada, England, Mexico, Russia, Germany, North Korea. Who's the Mexican? Who's the Mexican? Um, Amlo. Amlo. What is it? Amlo. Mm -hmm. Amlo. What kind of name is, is Amlo? What kind of name is Amlo? Lopez Obrador. What kind of name? Is the initials of his name, but his name is hard to remember. So what is his real him. name? Uh, his last name is Lopez uh, Obrador. Yeah. Obrador? Obrador. He just made that up. It's not real. He, 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 yeah, he doesn't care. Obrador him. means uh, like worker. Means what? Oh. Like worker. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I was, how about MBS? No, I don't think he's in charge. His father is still, right? The heads of state in Saudi Arabia. MBS? Mm -hmm. The guy who killed Khashoggi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We could have, she could have picked a category of ten, name 10 people have been assassinated. I wonder how she's going to say. They well, seeing as she's doing this for the moment. Yeah, it's just everybody's going to get 10. Yeah. She's going to list mm -hmm. all the leaders. No. 200. Mm -hmm. Honor system. Yeah. Which means um, that we, we have automatically not been put in last place. <laughs> 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 Whatever. I can't believe how many yes, we got that. wrong. And then I you thought know. we were on the right track. I know. We, had, we had biology questions and biologists on the team, and we did so bad. It's okay. <laughs> it's really, it really bad. Well, too. you had four last category, but, but the team I was on had one. Yeah. We, yeah, we was music we to it. my ears. <laughs> Nonetheless, <laughs> yeah. we, so we have birders and biologists and, and Canadians. And they're going to take People our cat away. And you know who beat you is Isabella. <laughs> well, I know. That's that was the one that got nine. doesn't sleep. <laughs> we had a Canadian ringer here. Yeah. Hey, 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 hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Canadian, but I ain't no rigger. Did you know your bird? Did you know your out. Canadian jaybird or whatever the one that eats no. out of your hand or whatever? No. Or the other like, one? All these different provincial birds? No. I will say that we made very, very good guesses. 
I mean, an interesting discussion. Faith, we had we discussions, have, but everything like the, I mean, the square five eggs five. were like, oh no, it can't be the square eggs. That's stupid. It has to be something that sort of could be real. So let's say something else. And then uh -huh. it. Uh, I'm going to. And Rob M. Deborah said the wingspan of the bird was probably the most, made the most sense. And they're like, okay, but I think we should pick something else. And I'm like, and they said, oh, it's a kiwi. And I said, you know, I think it's the caco, caco something. It's like a parrot. No, no, we're going to pick kiwi. <laughs> we were all, nobody. Anyway, we got 10. It was, it was nothing about movies or whatever. So yeah, I, it was right up your alley. Well, it was totally different tonight. This, this, there was a lot of nature. No sci-fi. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, miracle. exactly. Yeah, I thought the categories were really, really good. It's just even that the cat. Poop? I mean, the biology. Yes. Do well. <laughs> well, because I love the poop. Question. No, we're gonna don't. Come. But it was. It, there was nothing about movies or TV shows yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. You never know. Um, yeah. There was that one question. To, I'll have to stop my video soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's back. Thanks, man. <laughs> tools they're very handy oh, we only scored nine i can't believe it oh shush <laughs> <laughs> okay well, we're back who did not get 10 <laughs> me personally i only got four. Oh well i i, I think my I team got, got the other six though I so said, let's name let's name all of them okay so, so <laughs> everyone read them off and then if, and name, name all them. possible answers <laughs> I bet Until most we people out. have a really similar list. Well, we now what do. we should do is compare lists and you <laughs> knock off the ones okay. that match and, huh. and and you get points for the ones that you got that nobody else got. Oh, that would have been interesting. Oh, that would have been fine if we had done that to begin but, with. Yeah, yeah that's, that's yeah. a good idea. Out. That the tie well, then we have to go back in the room then. Well, you know what we could do? You know what we could do for tiebreakers? We could say, if your list had... Somebody that's not on anybody else's list, you get an extra point. Well, if they're actually a list. Then we have to go back in our room, though. Yeah. We'll yeah. 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 No, that would be. Uh... We would definitely change our list if we. And I would okay, argue. Taxi. Okay, okay, never mind. And I would argue Trump belongs on everybody's list. I'm okay with Ty. <laughs> <laughs> I would pick some really obscure country that Queen Elizabeth II is the uh, head of state of. Well, we already tried that. <laughs> Did. <laughs> Did anyone have Netanyahu on their list? It's wrong. It's wrong. That's why I'm saying well, they would be. Uh, no, no. I tried, but they reminded me I was wrong. In fact, we got his. We got Bennett, the guy after the guy who's now in charge. Yeah, did any of you have Pierre Trudeau on your yes. list? Yes. Yeah. Well, oh Pierre. man, that's who we should have had. Not Pierre. Put the last names. <laughs> Justin. Well, Justin, Robin, Robin, do Pierre you want us each to just read uh, each of our lists? Um, I don't know. Do we want to, or do we want to just no. tell uh, it takes a while. I I to Let's just finish this. It's 10 30. Yeah, I know we can trust us. We can I'm just pretty sure all right. So recognize that 10. everybody's gonna get 10. I'm pretty sure we had somebody that nobody else has. Who? And I We're all remember. winners. So Mano, tell <laughs> us of the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. <laughs> you're you're muted. You gotta muted. unmute first. It's Imran Khan. No, that's the Pakistan. Go, go Paxa. Go. Roger Paxa. Yeah, Roger Paxa. Gota by Roger Paxa. Yeah. Okay, and who had the King of Holland? Mm, not me. <laughs> Robin said she did. Well, well yeah, she was my on my team. team did. My team did. I didn't participate. Who had Naharatu? Is the Pope considered the head of state of Vatican? We had, City? We had the Pope. Yes. We had yep. Pope Francis. Yeah, yeah, yeah he would yeah. make sense. The Vatican. Yeah. Okay, let's here we go. Not talk, let's not Here's talk the about final the Pope scores, today. everyone. Not bad for uh, 40s are really good for teams in half because the maximum <laughs> score you can get is 50. So 40 is really, really high. Yeah. Very. 30 yeah. is really, really low. Way to go, team. Good job. But you know what? Robin Robin hit, um, you know, usually the team that uh, the questioner is in does badly. Well, I'll just let you know we did 10. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh, good job, Robin. Our team got your team got ten. Finally, something that I knew. <laughs> well, I knew just to shut up and let everybody else come up with stuff. <laughs> but I, I mean, I could have come up with six or something. I don't know. 
I, if I had to spell them, I could have come up with four. But and I was <laughs> yeah, like, that, that was my problem. I was the one typing answers. And I'm like, how do you spell <laughs> but yes, that? But, we, but when you put a team together, I think the team can pull it together. Right, right. Well, you know, our team, our team was second place, and the other two ahead of us was next to last. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Good stats. We have a hey, team. We have hey, a team. Hey, okay, hey, so next please please questions if you can stay after the game's over. What, what? I said, Adrian, I have some cruise questions if you can stay after oh. the game's over. Oh, sure. Okay, yeah. so next week we're leading off with Robin, Rob, Mike, Gail, and the bonus is Jeff. And, the and I promise my, my category next week will be more difficult. Oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> I'm no, it's, fine. it's hard to not do that. I promise <laughs> my category 1st, next week will be super easy. July 1st, it will be Kelly and Ben. It should be heads of states from countries that begin with A. Yeah, there and that's you go. what I got at the moment. <laughs> and we'll fill that up, no problem. All right, good for game, July everybody. I'll paste it up on Night Facebook. Everybody. Thank uh, you. Adrian, did you want me to hand this over to you? Because I need to go. I'm soft falling asleep. That would be fine. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.